to do some badass bird tats. You ready? Let's do this. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Your time starts now. Let's do it. This is the part that hurts the least. Beautiful. Euless calls birds. I mean, this is the guy's favorite subject matter in the history of tattooing. All right, bud, here we go. Birds are extremely difficult. I mean, they have little tiny claws and tons of crazy features. A beak, a nose, feathers, eyes, wings, tail. I mean, hell, if you do any of those wrong, it can look like a doormat. I'm doing a black capped chickadee with an Art Nouveau style rose. It's super simple and big and clean. What's the love affair with the bird? I was trying to like make a style of tattooing. Yeah. And I needed something there was billions of different kinds of, but also the same thing. And it just kind of stuck and now they're fun as In the competition, it was pretty rough for me the first go around but it's really healthy having someone tear you down a little bit so you can build yourself back up. So because of that, I am a better tattooer. Time for the color. Sweet. I want to make this piece a ridiculous cartoon because that's what new school artists do. We take the impossible and make it funny and crazy and awesome. My son is autistic. He wasn't talking, wasn't real receptive, like three and a half. He didn't know how to communicate. Right. And now he's five, he talks, he tells us how he feels, forms sentences. Sure, you that's know? great. He's my little rock star. Like, that kid is amazing. Every single challenge with my son has made me think in a different way. My patience, my acceptance, my understanding, and I came out of it a better artist. Dude, you are crushing it. Thank you very shit. much. You see this shit? I can't believe you sent this guy home. Packing. I'll do it again, too. Man, you guys are going to make this super hard today, huh? <laughs> Ulyss, he thought he threw me a curveball with birds, but like, he left it open for style. And guess what? A little birdie told me, I'm going to whoop your ass. All right. In this corner, we got season nine, Ink Master, Bubba. And in this corner, Bone Face. You guys have six hours to complete your grudge match tattoo. Your time starts now. Okay. Bone Face is a black and gray artist. Bubba's a black and gray artist. Similar styles. That's going to be dope, dude. These are just two great artists that just want to prove themselves. Let's go time, man. You ready? Always ready. Bubba's a competitor. You know, he's trying to do everything he can to shut everybody up, to show that he's an ink master. Boneface called him out to prove himself, and uh, we'll see if he can do it today. The old chess piece represents me in this competition, man. We knock over the king when we're not supposed to. I have to out-design Bubba. This competition is chess, so I'm incorporating the chess board. In this tattoo, I'll embrace my role as the pawn, but I'm gonna put the crown on the pawn because I plan to be king. I'm coming for the crown. Never stop fighting, man. Absolutely. If I beat Bubba, he'll never be able to live it down. So that's why I have this hand holding a reflection of a skull in the mirror, because every time he looks in the mirror, he'll see bone face. This typically is not the place to try new things, but I'm a ink master. I'm here to win. Can't come back here and lose, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you, bro. A fruit dog. Is this something you normally do? I don't do a lot of uh, Japanese imagery or anything like that. That's a lot of detail. There's a ton of room for errors. Like, every single line you're going to be able to see really clearly because that's the idea behind Japanese. Five hours remain. You've only got five more hours. I'm just going to crush this thing. It's your funeral, bro. My goal in this head-to-head -head is to make it to where it's not close. I don't want it to be debatable. My design is way better. All I have to do is execute. So far, it's perfect. How do you think you're doing on time? I mean, that's a pretty big tattoo. Yeah, it is. The thing about a perfect tattoo is that the one area that's not perfect stands out. Ah, shit. I have this small hiccup in the back side of this thumb that's driving me nuts. I'm gonna try to shade it out of there, and hopefully I don't make this thing too dark.
You okay? Ah, just new spot, so I'm gonna adjust to it. Every single line I'm doing on this canvas, he's twitching. It's gonna look like I have a shaky hand, and my biggest fear is not showing clean lines. I'm gonna beg you to not flinch. Being an ink master, you're always under a microscope. Everyone's just waiting for you to fail. So if there's four really wonky lines out of a thousand, they're gonna harp on those four lines, so it has to be perfect. Bro, that was close. If my canvas can't sit through this, he's gonna ruin my chances of winning and my reputation, you know? And it's not even his fault. It's just, he could screw us both. Okay, guys, final hour. That time really flies when you're tattooing, huh? Size-wise, you listen to You listen to nuts. That's a quarter of a leg. But I feel like he played it smart because he used his style, which is real basic, solid blends. And I feel like you can do large sections with that. But if they're not solid, no. then no. Tom's got some good stuff going on. He's got some nice shirts going on. Tom's got some great stuff. But he's got so many pastels. And it's like some of the pastels he's using are so light. He's got to punch it in. This grudge match is over in five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Done. Boom. Kill it. Yeah. I'm stoked. I think we just kicked Tom's ass. It's perfect. I think we got a W. Yeah, it really does look like a sticker. Awesome. So how do you think you did? I mean, when it comes down to it, I finally, in, in this competition, in this place, I did a tattoo that I feel represents me. You should have been doing that the whole time in the competition instead of blaming me for not getting as far as you got and uh, focused on yourself. All right, fellas, ready for this? Big Jazz, you amped up? Yep. Tito, ready to lay it down? I'm ready, man. Your six hour grudge match tattoo, Japanese, starts right now. Let's do it. Ready? We ready? All right, Tito called Japanese. I'm stoked. That is good to me, man. It brings a lot of the traditional aspects, you know, solid lines, bold color, heavy black. That just makes for a solid tattoo. Oh, baby. Scale's right here, right now. Who's tipping it? All right. Let's do this. Ooh, thing looks cool. Try to hit something with higher contrast so you can tell what it is. I'm doing a geisha. She's gonna have a black and gray kimono on and a lotus flower under to show some colors and her hair put up with a hairpiece. And you have family in Panama still? My wife is still over there. Let's be rough. And then I go to Panama, spend some time with them, and then I come back until the paperwork gets done. But it's going really slow. It got really hard in the competition. Being away from my family, they are my biggest motivation. I had to prove them that I'm away for a reason. I'm away to show that I'm the best tattoo artist. So you went home on Japanese? Yeah, I was doing an oni mask. Is this the one up here? Yep. Somebody's trying to prove a point next to me. Big Jess is doing a hanger mask. I believe that somebody being funny right here. Oh, Hanya? Yes, sir. Tito got kicked off. He did a Hanya. Rub it on in. Yeah. Tito, why are you so salty? You gonna call me a snake? I had to repay the favor. You're gonna see what a Hanya mask is all about. I know how to flow uh, with my lines uh, and my color uh, and my everything. Uh, because you don't know what you're doing. Cause I'm about to ruin your chances to win this grudge match. In this corner, we have Ashley Velasquez. And in this corner, St. Mark the Tattoo God. You guys have six hours. Let's tattoo. 
Okay, stand up for me. St. Mark has the power, and he calls black and gray realism. That's what both of these guys specialize in. It's a level playing field. This is gonna be an awesome battle. Starting off right now. I've got six hours to pull off this realistic human eye. I'm gonna be able to show some really smooth gradation, some really fine detail, and a little bit of texture. It's not an easy tattoo, it just happens to be easy for me. My opponent is gonna aim really high. She knows what's at stake. Okay, so I think she's gonna overshoot. What's that? I can't hear you. Tattoo God, speak up. Oh, this is getting heated. <laughs> I've intimidated the crap out of Ashley, so if she's gonna aim so high she can't possibly finish this tattoo, I think I just lured her into my trap. I'm doing a portrait of a tiger, so I'm taking on something that nobody wants to touch. But I'm not scared to do it, I can handle it. Do you do a lot of cats at home, or is that? Portraits in general. Okay. And if I could do a portrait a day for the rest of my career, I'd be pretty happy. I gotta beat St. Mark because he's annoying as shit and his cockiness drives me nuts. So I just opened my own shop. Oh, really? And yeah, we actually just received an award for the best shop in New Haven. Really? Dude, that is so cool. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I have a lot to prove to my staff back home, my crew. I don't wanna let anyone down. You focus, just gotta make it happen at this point. I came here to play and I came here to win. All right, you only have one hour left on these Japanese tattoos. Do you do a lot of Japanese tattooing? A little bit of Japanese here and there. And you've been tattooing long enough. I say all the time, if you've been tattooing for 10 years in a street shop and you ain't done a koi fish, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I right. don't know what's going on. <laughs> 25 years of tattooing under my belt. These days, tattoos have no soul. But my tattoo has a lot of soul. And being a third person eliminated, I felt that I didn't have a chance to really show what I could do. I want to prove that I could swing with the best of them. You worried about going up against Tito today? No, I'm not worried. I love the competition aspect. Never ending learning process when it comes to tattooing, you know? Dude, Tito's, Tito's killing it. Tito's is so Tito's cool. is, it is dope. Yeah, but there's a bunch of hiccups in the line work. See all those yeah. little glowies all on the right-hand side? I Gosh. really like Big Jazz's design, but I also think the style that he went, he could have done a lot more with that thing, gave oh, it some competition, dope. gave it something. On the other side of things, I feel like if you give a small, simple tattoo that's absolutely bulletproof, there's nothing to debate on that. If it's solid enough, it could speak for itself. All right, guys, this grudge match is over in five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machines down. All right, my friends. That's crazy. Yeah, we're definitely winning with this, man. All the designs, you're going to do a honeymoon. You know, just business. Well, business is going yeah. well, to get taken care of today. That it will. I like my tattoo. I think it's pretty solid. This is all I wanted out of you. I wanted you to tattoo with confidence, and you did it. You know, you showed me that anything's possible. Anything's possible, including beating you. We'll see. You guys ready to end this grudge? Yeah, let's do it. April, ready to kick this off? Let's do this. Six hours. Time starts now. All right, let's get this stencil on. April called Fantasy Ladies. That could mean anything. Is it a cricket with lips? Half donkey, half lady? This is your chance for something different. I think it looks pretty good. Anything outside the box. What's your fantasy lady? I'm going to let that dry. I always get, get a little anxious before every tattoo, man. It's like a game day jitter. Ready? I'm very ready. Hold still. <laughs> It's a little nerve-wracking going into the Grudge Match tattoo because I picked it. So if I do a bad job, I'm gonna look like a weenie. It's all black and gray? Cool. Yep. Okay. Make good choices, you know? Yeah. 
I'm taking the critiques that the judges gave me on my face off tattoo to heart. So I'm gonna tone down my design, but I refuse to let it tone down my creativity. What is your fantasy? <laughs> I'm gonna call it my fantasy. I'm pretty sure it's a lot of people's fantasies. I worked off of MGU. Oh, really? Yes. No, you did not. <laughs> Are you trying to get brownie points right now? <laughs> Whatever works. You've got him, baby. Whole tray. <laughs> I'm gonna be using Ryan's face as a reference. She has this moon tattoo and I'm just gonna build off of that. We're gonna make the starry night scene on the side of the face. We're gonna work some trees. We're gonna have our hair flowing down. I can't even be basic if I tried. Like, it's, it's not in my blood. Look a little familiar? Kinda looks like clean. That's what I was going for, clean. Maybe he doesn't have the, is that what you guys he doesn't have the moon or... on the side of Oh, could be you. Could be you. <laughs> could be you. It takes a lot to stump me, and uh, I think in this moment, I might be a little stumped. I look good as a stencil. <laughs> All right, LT, Ryan, you guys have to do a six-hour American traditional tattoo. You ready for this? Yeah. You ready? Ready. Let's tattoo! Just like that. Get this. Brian took it to American Traditional because it's the whole backbone and the beginning of tattooing. Let's have some fun, bro. Probably talk to you more after I'm done with the line work. No, 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 it's okay. In my world, there is nothing tougher than an American Eagle. Eagles are American, and that's me. Did you pick American Traditional because that's your strongest suit? It's pretty much to see him own up to what he says, man. I want to see his fundamentals. Everybody knows fundamentals lie in a traditional tattoo. When we go to school, we learn our history of where we came from. We learn about our forefathers. Wouldn't you want to know everything about tattooing? But this newer generation, their head's so big, and they're very talented, but they're lawless. And I'm not a fan of people that are in my industry that don't know where we come from because respect is the only thing in tattooing. I don't give a f about much else. All right, guys, first hour is down. You guys have five hours remaining. What I chose for today's grudge match is a snake wrapped around a dagger going through a rose. Having any issues or anything? No, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, American traditional is tough. I didn't do American traditional ever. This is my first time. This is your first time ever? Really? Yeah, officially. <laughs> Brian picked American traditional because he knows that I don't do American traditional. What a dick. You enjoying yourself? I am. Good. The beauty of American traditional. LT needs to be taught a lesson. Let's see him pony up and actually do a good tattoo. We are now halfway there. Three hours remaining. So you don't do a lot of traditional tattoos back home? Nah, I don't. Me, myself, I don't, just don't want to be a one-trick pony at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm an artist. It's good to have more than one skill when it comes to this profession. Growing up, for the most part, I was always out on the streets. And I was trying to figure out different outlets to get me out of trouble. And art was one of them. Tattooing has freed me. It has definitely taught me a lot about life. These are the moments that I live for. American traditional? Sure, no problem, all right, cool. Yeah, I haven't done it. No problem, I'll do it. There's four hours to go, guys, four hours. What made you create this? This is an illustration of how I feel when I'm here. Got a lot of butterflies yeah. in my stomach. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm doing the lady with her rib cage exposed with butterflies flying out of it. There's a lot of line work, a lot of different colors. There's a light source, which I don't typically do. This tattoo is a little difficult, but I wanted it to be weird. So you're gonna do blue, like a blue glow from the yeah. inside. Yeah, I was curious how you're, yeah. what you were doing because I didn't see any black in there. I thought okay. that'd be cool. Light sources are hard to make up. If I could rip open a woman's rib cage and shove a blue light bulb in there, I'm sure it would be really easy, but that would be murder. I really like April's outline, but where's all the black? Yeah, we had that whole conversation about black yesterday. So I'm curious if she's gonna throw some 
heavy black in it to really get that glow. Yeah. Even though he says it's not a portrait, made rich, he's following the reference as exact as he could. Why would you do that on a day you could make anything look like anything? I'm just happy his fantasy wasn't my ass. Hi, yeah, are you flattered? Man, this can't be like, such uh, my first on him forever. Maybe it's gonna turn into something else. Oh Ooh, yeah, no. it's fantasy, Ryan. Not real, Ryan. Different, very different. Two hours to go. Two hours. Hiya. Hey, Nosey Tom. <laughs> so this your fantasy? It's not my fantasy. It's just like fantasy. Okay. Every line I pull on this thing, I'm realizing what's on the line. I make you uncomfortable standing here? Not at all, actually. It's unfortunate. I want to show him once and for all that I can do a really good tattoo whether I'm nice or not. Because I am. Nice. White. I might want to darken his eye up a little bit too. And now I feel like I'm just searching for shit to do and I need yep. to stop overthinking this <laughs> shit. Right now, my biggest challenge is me. It's just in me to want to add stuff. I'm trying my hardest to not add more black. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and just keep it simple. Come on, we are almost done. All right, guys. Five, four, Three, two, one. Time's up. Put him down. Oh, that's it, brother. Oh, man, that's awesome. Absolutely gorgeous. That's all she wrote. This <laughs> is definitely the best work I have on me. Oh, stop it. By far. Do you think the way you picked was smart to not pick your opponent's weakness? I think I was more excited to just pick what I wanted to do. Because you only get so many chances here to like do something you're jazzed about. But like we're here to sell a grudge. I definitely just want to pick something that I knew damn well you wasn't going to do a good job at. Yeah. That's how we're different. You right. Craig and Jimmy, you guys got to do three scoops of ice cream. I better be able to taste these damn things when you're done. <laughs> All right? Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? Ready. Let's tattoo. Rock and roll. This is the ultimate new school showdown. Craig and Jimmy are new school titans. Craig called out three scoops Sunday. I better see great drawings, super awesome tattooing, bright, bold, new school to the max. This is going to be epic. Ready? Oh, dude, no, this is what I want to see from you. Between me and Jimmy, we could fill up a snack store with the amount of snacks that we have tattooed on people. Four little faces, huh? <laughs> Each one more adorable this than the next. Like, oh, the cool thing about new school tattooing, there's no rules to it. Like, that's why we do it. But at the same time, you got to make it interesting. It's just all about creativity. And I think that's what the whole point is. Are you even using a color reference? You just know in your mind what it's supposed to be. Yes, yep. eating lots of ice cream. I know that I've pushed myself to the limits. I've exaggerated every element that I possibly can you know, with faces and fun and textures and little bitty element designs that I know that Craig is definitely gonna bring. It's gonna be a true battle to the end. You think that you should have not handed the win yesterday or no, what? No, not at all, man. I wanted to be here so I can push myself. Well, if you called him out and then beat him at his own game, I guess. Yeah, but at least it's his game now. Jimmy has this dynamic way of interpreting things, which I totally admire. Now I'm the one that's gonna be stepping into the deep water trying to keep up with Jimmy's designs. All right, guys. Servan, you ready? Yeah, all day. Tito, let's give me his own medicine. Your six hour grudge match tattoo starts right now. Take home the win, baby. Servan called out American traditional tattoos. I'm ready for it. You can cut the tension with a knife in here. These guys aren't only battling it out in their tattoos today, they are throwing daggers. You ready, bro? Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't do American traditional on my daily basis, but when I start tattooing, I work in a traditional shop, so I can pull out this style. 
a lot of them traditional, but I don't do traditional. And then you call me out for traditional. What do you want to prove? Shag and Anchors was one of the first designs that was made back in the day, and I decided something simple and bold. Every line is very critical. Can we get a bucket over here with a sponge? Going super old school. <laughs> I'm doing a traditional American lady head. I just think she looks really pretty. The artwork alone is gonna carry me. That is definitely American traditional. Tito don't like following rules, and there's too many of them for him in traditional. He has no clue what to do, and he's scared. You guys have three hours left. Tito is pissed, man. See, I can talk all the shit I want. If you want to shake my hand and just end it, we can do it. It's like in that same respect, it's like, let the machines do the talking. Yeah, totally. This whole thing started with tattooing. You should end it with tattooing, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I got a surprise for you. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of surprise? I'm gonna do another one. Yeah, get out of here. Right now. All right, let's do it. I'm a fast tattooer, so I'm gonna show off what I can do. Traditional all day. Two hours and 15 minutes. Let's do it. Back in the days when you do American traditional, was one after another one. Ah, perfect. When you finish one, you want another one, and you can afford it, just keep going. I don't know, see if they're going with another one over there. Leaving yourself a window opportunity for more mistakes. Let's go. Awesome. Thank you. Thank That's you. Really awesome. Want another? Hell yeah, man. If you want to double up, man, I'll quadruple up with you. Well, we already won, bro, but <laughs> I'm going to kick his <laughs> ass today. <laughs> My second design is this traditional boxer lady. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bitch. I'm all in. Oh my God, this guy's a copycat. I can't believe it. I'm doing mine better because I'm doing gelato. <laughs> it's that fancy ice cream. There's only two hours left on the clock. Two hours left. Something is reacting to the canvas of skin. I'm laying in this rich brown that I wanted for the chocolate part of the ice cream. And it's taking it from looking like an ice cream cone to a burnt meatball. I'm definitely going to have to adjust my color palette to match what's going on in the skin. How you doing on time over there? Cutting it close, but I'll be all right. How about yourself? I'm gonna make it. I mean, if you want to come over here and help me color in, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say no. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? I do love Jimmy's design, but I'm just nervous because of technical stuff. I'm not too sold on the brown. Yeah. As far as Craig's goes, it's clean, but it's just not solid. Like the cup, you could see through the blue still, but I never taste the pie before it's out of the oven. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn them off. Turn them off. All right, man, that's it. All done. They all have their own little personality. All right, man, you have been snack tooed. Looks good. So, Craig, what's the scoop? A scoop of ice cream. Not just a scoop, three. Man, I definitely didn't think that I was going to come in here and have any kind of cakewalk. It was. And I was like, I, I want you to trip. Just not like fall down, but just, <laughs> just to stumble a little bit. It was really good to be back in here. Instead of Ink Master Grudge Match, it's Ink Master Bromance. <laughs> it's going to be the next season. Yeah. Ink Master Bromance, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Fellas, you ready for your six hour grudge match tattoo? Hell yeah. Do it. Jeremy Brown, you ready? I'm ready, man. Ink Master Steve Taft, you ready? Always. All right, guys, it starts now. Stand right on the top step. I'm glad Steve didn't pick a style. It's an even playing field. 
Yeah, that's dope, dude. Any type of uh, style that you chose? It's neo-traditional. I chose that because um, it shows clean line work, technical application. You know why I chose this? Because it's cool. Hey, nobody asked you. I just want to make sure this thing has bright, smooth blends of color, dark blacks, perfect line work, and beautiful highlights, because that's what I do. I sense a little beef between you two. No, he has beef, I don't. The winner usually doesn't have beef with the loser. <laughs> Jeremy picked a very safe tattoo. Hey, that's cool. I'm trying to do art. Dang, big old bug. I wanted to shock you and do something different. Never seen nothing like this from you. Never, right? I'm trying to get outside the box. Besides the skull on the bottom. Yeah, but otherwise than that. It's got to be my style, my way. So I'm going to put a skull head in the bottom of this beetle, and it's going to be crazy. Three hours. Three hours ago. Jeremy, that means you have one, two, three hours. The time you thought you had on your bus yesterday. This tattoo is the whole package. It has different line weights, tricks, glows, everything. If the only way I'm gonna get some respect out of this guy is kicking his ass on a tattoo, then so be it. Light pink? Where the hell was this? It was in the arsenal of Steve doesn't let me do shit. If you would have done this tattoo when you were do your own design, you would have won. <laughs> I'm really worried that Jeremy's gonna beat me. All right, Christian, Dane, you guys have six hours to do a father time tattoo. Are you ready? Got all the time. Are you ready? Well. I'm ready. Let's tattoo. Woo! Let's do this. Tattooing an old dude is extremely difficult. All of the wrinkles and the textures takes a lot of time. You ready, buddy? Let's do it. But Christian's doing black and gray. I mean, hey, this is his bread and butter. And Dane really needs to step up his color game if he's going to beat Christian. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Oh, no, you're cool, dude. Yeah, no, he's real good with textured cracks. Don't worry about it. I'm a little bit surprised Christian didn't choose black and gray, but I'm stoked he chose Father Time. I can finally show everything that I'm capable of, textures, details, color theory, and beat the crap out of this old man. Dane is a really creative kid. But I'm a better tattooer, I'm a better artist. There's no way he's going to beat me in a six-hour tattoo. How's it going? It's chilling, man. I'm trying to do, like, realism with no reference. Oh. It's like everybody thinks that if you're a realism dude, you can't draw it. So I'm going to draw it, zero reference, Jesus. still keep it realistic. Yeah. This is a hand-drawn piece. It's a complete original, and I'm doing this to prove a point. I'm not just a technician, I'm also an artist. I think when you do black and gray realism, you always get that shit where people are like, you're just a copy machine. Listen, I do black and gray because I choose to do that. It's not For like sure. I can't do whatever else you throw at me, you know? Exactly. I'm glad I'm not going up against you now. Me too, I'm sick of losing to you. <laughs> Yeah, you're going full color, huh? Yeah, I'm doing a whole light source of gold up here. Mm -hmm. It helps separate from like the blue gray on the face and also just cause like, makes them a little bit more mysterious. With this tattoo, I'm doing this glowing effect and if I do it really well, it's gonna make this tattoo look amazing and play up a huge warm cool kind of theory. But if I do it terribly, it's gonna look like a train wreck. So that's why I've been deeply shadowing these parts right. so that way I can just cram this whole area full of solid gold. Pulling off a glow is extremely difficult. Dane has to nail the planes of the face perfectly so that the light looks like it's hitting the face and that it doesn't flatten it out. I think it's a gigantic risk. Hopefully Father Time is on your side today. Looks like you got a bit to go, huh? All the time in the world. No, you have three and a half more hours, so <laughs> get to it. Time. You got one hour left, guys. One hour. Probably my biggest surprise of the day is the tattoo that Jeremy's doing. It is pretty cool. It's one thing to just have a light source, but he's actually trying to make it look like it, it is glowing. And that's a difficult ask. If he can pull that off, that's going to be really good for him. Yeah, totally. Steve, his leaves are just as dark as his bug. And then also, his background is just as dark as the 
bug's body and then, ah. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Well, the bug and huddle over Steve's tattoo. I mean, yeah, it looks a little bit busy, you know? A, a little. little bit busy? Yeah. It needs contrast between light and dark, and it needs contrast and texture. Well, he's got plenty of texture and he's got plenty of dark. He just forgot the other oh, shit. He forgot the other half of it. Steve, you know damn well, during our season, if you walked over and saw me doing pink, you'd be like, what the f are you doing? Thanks for not using pink, Steve. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy has inspired me. You're just jealous. I'm totally gonna pink the shit out of this. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Bugs done. Yeah, looks good, dude. What do you think, man? Yeah. Woo-wee. This is gonna be a tough one. <laughs> I don't know. That's the stuff I knew you were capable of. Maybe you being a dick was a good thing. I think so. Daddy's home. Oh! oh. There he is. Hey. He does not disappoint, does he? Was that an actual flag that he just shrunk and? Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Jimmy Snaz. Hey, what's up, Naturescape? Oh. <laughs> Ready to go head to head with someone with three years of experience? I'm so terrified. Dude, she's still pissed. I hope you've been practicing. I know exactly what I did wrong, whereas I'm not sure if you knew even why you were down there or if you even admit that you should have been down there. I didn't go home, and you did. You said on my best day, I couldn't do a tattoo as good as you did on that day. You're right. I would do it way better than that, because what happened on my best day? I beat all of you guys. I didn't realize she was so feisty. I've heard enough of it and just want to get in there. Let's get in there. Let's go. Ah, you got a lucky shot. That's it. I got lucky. You were lucky you stayed. I don't know. I wouldn't call that luck. Woo, hey, guys. What's up? What's up? Hey. Got some baggage brought with you. Yeah, and Jimmy Matt. brought his pants. Well, the <laughs> pants don't disappoint, first and foremost. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. <gasps> I'm trying not to take any emotional attachment. I'm going to leave my heart out of this, and I'm going to judge the best tattoos possible. I appreciate that, Clean. I expect nothing less. A whole different day, a whole different time. Yeah, there's no teams anymore. No teams, okay. no coaches. Good. Just me and you. Yeah. This needs to be squashed. We want to make the playing field as even as possible. So we're going to give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo, where we determine what it's going to be. Great. Ah, oh, sick. But whoever wins today's face-off is going to have an advantage, because that person gets to choose either the style or the subject of tomorrow's six-hour grudge match tattoo. I got it. Winner of the grudge match settles a score and ends this once and for all. All right, then. What have we got? What should we have him do for this face-off? Well, let's go back to this original grudge. How did this whole thing start? Naturescapes, right? Naturescape, yes. They had some problems with some wonky-ass animals, right? Yeah. Let's do a fish. Goldfish. Goldfish. I like goldfish. Color. Is it's that going to give Jimmy the advantage over Angel, though? Because he's more of a color artist than she is. But. It doesn't have to be color. Okay. That's not fair. He okay. does color. She all right, doesn't. All right. Okay. Let yeah. them choose. Calm down. As a black and gray talks. artist, it is a. Shrink a little when you talk to me. As a black and gray artist, it is a disadvantage being okay. assigned color. Right. I get it now. God. OK, so 90 minutes, any kind of goldfish, any color. I'm ready. You? Yeah. Ding, ding, Angel's mother ding. Shit. Let's get it. Good yeah, luck, guys. Get to work. See you in a bit. All right. You excited for this goldfish, Jimmy? Yeah. How often do you do 90-minute tattoos? Oh, never. Well, I wouldn't if want you, you to bite off more than you can chew. Just don't do a cracker. You might lose. In our second grudge, season 10's Jason Elliott attacks the vulnerable Sparks. I just came to prove you wrong. Prove me wrong about what? You said I was too sensitive. You're like the bitch of season 10. <laughs> I like this dude. Now, Sparks is back to prove his worth. Your biggest mistake was assuming that I can't draw. Oh, I mean, I know you can, but not well. Jason and Sparks battling it out. On my season when I was a coach, Sparks was on my team. Jason, he liked to get into everyone's head. He, liked, he always liked to play the game. I think it's personal bullshit. We're here to tattoo, not be best friends. You got a weak personality that caves easy, so when they give you advice, all you do is just turn inward. I don't think my tattoo's the worst of the day. You were due from the start. It was already a sinking ship. Sparks wants to come back and prove himself. Put up or shut up, dude. If you got a, a beef, we'll settle it. Let's go. 
I wasn't really expecting Jason to attack my character and come after me the way he did. I just want to put his dick in the dirt. I want to prove to everybody, my old coach, my old competitors, hey, I do badass tattoos and I want to prove it to the world. My main focus going into the competition was to scope out everybody that was there, find out their strengths and weaknesses, and play the game that way. Whack. Actually, that's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. In a competition, the biggest part is having mental strength. And Sparks just didn't show up with any. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make one. So if he's going to call me out for a grudge match, he better make sure that this time he comes with a lot thicker skin. Oh, shit. This is nostalgic. It looks there he like is. picnic spread. I think we're about to f some shit up in here. You could just look at Jason and tell that he has something that he wants to put in your back. What? Like a knife. Like, I mean, he's always thinking about the- He looks the... like he's going to a picnic. What the f is Mr. Sensitive getting in here? I got all day for this shit. Well, if it isn't the heartless wonder. Oh, look at that, Mr. Man. Shipwreck. Did you find a soul, or are you still using baby tears in your rinse cup? What does that even mean? practice that one. Does that work? I just came to prove you wrong. You said I was too sensitive. Bro, listen, you're, you're like the bitch of season 10. <laughs> I like this dude. Dude, I wasn't a bitch. I just had outsider stress, and I let it get to me. I give no about that. You either gonna do a good tattoo, or you gonna take your ass home. And that's what happened. You took your ass home. You were sinking shit from the beginning. Look, man, I get it. The easiest way I can do this is just put up and shut up and then earn your respect. Sparks seems pretty calm. Almost seems like Jason's not getting into his head this time, you know? Put all that know. aside. Yeah, like, it looked like he was getting in his I'm head pretty good. I'm gonna say that as well. <laughs> Let's go know. find out. Let's do this. I just hope you left that sympathetic shit at home and just brought skill. That's what the f I came here to do, man. I just have to beat your ass. Enough with the mouth running. What's going on between you guys? He's a sensitive bitch. I can't have a bitch representing Texas. This can't happen. We're not a bitch state. No, that's true. We're a state with heart and you have none. I'm happy you're back, Sparks, and I know you're a solid tattooer. Jason, he gets in your head like some fly, you know, and you're just like, ugh. Did you with him? Yeah, I with him. I thought he was weak. I mean, he was weak, because his ass went home. And that's why I'm back here, to just shut you the up. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you guys an even playing field with a 90-minute face-off tattoo. We get to choose what you guys are going to do. Tight. This dude does big shit all day. I know he's nervous. I'm ready to do any tattoo. I just, I just want to see this guy do a good tattoo. Just one. Hopefully you guys come out swinging, because whoever wins this face-off tattoo gets the advantage of choosing either the style or the subject matter of tomorrow's six-hour grudge match tattoo. The winner of that grudge match tattoo ends all this. Shuts the traps. So what do you want me to pick? <laughs> I like, I like that. Hey, that's confidence. Confidence. Yeah. confidence. I know he's nervous, so we're good. Sounds like we got a grudge. I like it. What are we going to do? This all started over, you know, mental warfare. It's your little brains. So, so 90 minute brain tattoos. 90 minute brain tattoos. I'm into that. Any style you want. You got it. Use them brains. <laughs> yeah, use Don't come brains. with half one today. Oh, man. <laughs> You hear that, man? They want you to do a clean, good tattoo. How are you feeling about that? Small. Are you going to be able to do something small? I think maybe you should just do a brain and a question mark, because you're probably clueless. What? All right, Angel and Jimmy, you guys have 90 minutes to tattoo a goldfish in any style. Hopefully, neither of you flop. Your face off starts now. Stand some time. Ready to party, Angel? Oh, yeah. Me and Angel, we couldn't be more polar opposite. She does black and gray realism. I do solid traditional tattoos. My experience is what's going to allow me to excel in this 90-minute challenge, because I know what I can get done in 90 minutes. I work in a street shop. It's bangers, 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 all day. Just try to keep it cohesive. I don't have a lot of room for error in a traditional tattoo. Everything has to be intentional and on point. You only get one shot to make every line count. When they said goldfish, I was like, man, they're gonna make this cool somehow. I know Jimmy's gonna come through on this tattoo, so I have to do something that's impressive and technical. Hopefully gonna have time to finesse it. There's lots of little folds and creases in my fish, and every fin has texture in it. These tiny little lines are hard to do without shaking. If I pull it off, it's gonna be really impressive. 
Swimming along at 60 minutes. We got 60 minutes, guys. How you doing, Angel? I'm sweating, dude. Sweating? Yeah. You ain't seen nothing yet. All right, guys. Ready for this? Jason, you gonna use your head on this tattoo? I'm ready to whoop his ass. Sparks, ready to turn sparks to flame? Hell yeah, dude. Your 90-minute face-off tattoos of brains starts right now. Perfect. What do you think? Sweet. Rodeo started. I don't know what Sparks is thinking calling me out. I almost made it to the finale. You can't even get a participation award. Make sure it's your best tattoo ever. Always got to make sure it's your best tattoo. So I got a lot of elements in this tattoo. I've got the light bulb, got the face, I got the brain, and I've got a little activity outside the brain. I just want to get in there and do like really the subtle grays where the brain is actually behind in the bulb. Maybe I'm pushing the limits a little bit for 90 minutes, but no matter what, I'm going to whoop Sparks' ass. Just keep it simple and legible. You only got 60 minutes left on your face-off tattoos. My design is basically a brain in the shape of a heart, I think with my heart. It also has an all-seeing eye in the center because I see through this mental warfare bullshit that Jason's just tossing around. So what made you come back? I just didn't get to prove what I wanted to last time. I let my emotion get in control instead of just kicking back and doing fun tattoos. This guy has no idea what's coming for him. I have a clear head, so I'm coming full force this time. Somebody's gonna put Jason in his place. My strategy is to do the biggest tattoo that Ink Master has ever seen at a finale. I've proven myself time and time again. There is not a style that I couldn't do. Win or lose, I want this thing to be the baddest thing that's ever walked on that stage. Period. Hey, man. hey, what's up, man? How, How are, are you? you? Your final canvas. Right on. I don't know about you, but I want this title of Ink Master more than anything. You ready? Here we go. Oh, my God. So sick, dude. Let's do it. That's it. I mean, it's big, but if you sit, man, we're going to get this done, and it's going to be amazing. So is this going to wrap down my leg? Is that how this is going to Yeah, gonna... a full chest, full rib panel, all the way down onto a leg. All right. So, I mean, it's, it's, this is literally covering half your body. All right. Uh, it's going to have a lot of color in it, and it's going to be bold, and it's going to be powerful. I mean, you're going to be able to see this thing from across the room. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, you've already got something on your chest already, huh? Well, I didn't expect a cover-up. I mean, are you cool with me covering that up? Yeah, whatever you need to do. I guess the snake's about to eat the rat. All right, let's do it. Truth. All right, ready, man? Yeah. All right, if you need any breaks, just let me know. Give me cool. We're done. I'm trying to write history, and I'm trying to win this competition. My speed is definitely one of my strong suits. I love snakes. It's one of my favorite things to tattoo. And I love tattooing skulls. So I figured, why not do both of these together? Christian tried to screw me. He knows that I love doing new school tattoos. So I'm going to do a tattoo that is not new school, and it's going to smash anything that this guy can even throw at me. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, my God. So sick. That's the first session. Like, we still got a lot of work to do, but, I mean, you sat like a boss, dude. So next session, I'm going to tackle that rib, and we're going to just try and get as much done on that area as possible. So then that way, if you decide, I can't take any more, we still have time to go work on something else. We got a long road today. We're going to try and knock out as much as we can. I mean, I definitely got a couple spots I'm going to have to re-outline. Okay. My goal is to uh, get this whole skull colored in. 
as much as possible today. Get comfy. Talk yourself through it, man. and get this whole section done. No matter what you gotta do, you gotta fucking grind it out and make it happen, all right? Did good. Next session, we definitely have to finish that skull completely. We still got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Go ahead and hop up, man, and let's, uh, let's go check it out. <sighs> you all right? Yeah, it was a tough day. Oh, look at sick. Dude. I know, we just got that little section up here to finish. Yeah. I'm hoping that next session we finish your leg, the skull, and the rest of this stuff over here, no matter what. I'm gonna tell you right now, I got this thing in the bag, man. We got this one, right? Positive vibes, bro. I bet you Christian's super lost right now because he can't even do black and gray. I mean, what else is the guy gonna do? He's probably trying to do some bogus ass, crappy new school drawing to try and outshine me at new school. You did good today, bro. I tried, bro. Well, you, know, you did great. You ready to check it out? Yeah, let's do it, man. Actually, I got done a lot more today than I thought I was gonna get done. We got a little bit to go on the teeth over here, maybe some little fine line details on the skull. Once we finish all this heavy color on the snake, this little cover up is definitely gonna be an issue. We gotta make sure that this thing is rock solid. I mean, this is $100,000 on the line. Today, we're gonna focus on the top half, this uh, the center part of the snake's head and the belly right here. So I'm gonna make sure that I get all of this done today. We got no time to spare. Start that motherfucking clock. If I can finish this background today, then next session, we're just gonna be sipping on lattes. Boom. Yes, you're happy. You are super happy. Seems like every session you just keep sitting better and better and better, you know? So when we're done with this, we'll start on your back. I still gotta do all the detailing. I still gotta do all the texturing, fine line stuff. I didn't want the background to be powerful. I wanted it to be real soft, so I used a real light gray. Next session, I have to make sure that I camouflage this cover up flawlessly. Your mind is definitely in the game right now. And next session, if you could bring that same mindset, we're gonna take this thing to the wind. Today's session is gonna be all about the details. I'm gonna make sure that I put fine lines in this whole entire thing. As far as the cover-up goes, I think if I just hit a few little spots and maybe a couple little textures, that thing's gonna just disappear 100%. Christian tried to sabotage me by not giving me a back, but honestly, I feel like I did a way bigger task by doing your chest, belly, and your ribs I literally blasted probably the biggest rib tattoo that's ever been done on Ink Master. And I did both sides of your ribs. I think this piece right here is definitely gonna show that I do have what it takes. If this doesn't scream Ink Master, I don't know what does. All right, Trevor, let's check it out, bro. It's crazy, dude. Oh my God, it's half my body. <laughs> they wanted a 35 hour tattoo. Well, that's a 35 hour tattoo. I want this win, and I want this $100,000, and I'm bringing it home for Vegas.
I think everybody knows me as like this black and gray realism guy, but I come from a comic book background. That's what I always was into. And so I really kind of wanted to dispel that myth anyway. I think black and gray guys get a bum rap that everybody thinks we can't draw. And I want to show that that's not the case. I've been drawing my whole life. So I'm going to not just crush clean, but crush a lot of myths too. What's up, man? Hey. Take up your master canvas. Good to meet you. Ready for all this stuff? Hell yeah. I've been watching Ink Master a long time, and I'm, I'm super pumped that I got you because I like all your work. I've, I've looked up on your portfolio. It's all badass, man. Nice. Well, we got a lot on the line with this one, for sure. You know, trying to settle up with Queen. So I got some cool ideas how we're going to do it. I came up with something pretty badass. Super hot, full leg, big colored, new school vampire chick, man. Real bright colors, really rich, stuff like that. What do you think? It's rad. Yeah? Yeah. Dig it? Hell yeah. I think we're not just gonna go bright, dude. We're gonna go big. This is gonna take your whole leg up. Wait till you see this. We're gonna start with just the girl, and I added some rats I wanna do. I'm pumped. <laughs> that is massive. Yeah. This was on an arm, man. That's like a full sleeve pinup, so, That's you know, bad. you'll be able to see this from 10 miles away. <laughs> this is a $100,000 design, man, and you're, you're about to get a $100,000 tattoo, so hope you're ready. Well, that's a big fucking pinup girl, isn't it? All right, you ready? I was always a comic book junkie my whole life. I've always loved comic books, and I actually really wanted to be a comic book artist before I got into tattooing. So, you know, I just figured, fuck it, I'm gonna go back to my roots and, you know, do something I love. Dude, we got a shit ton done today. I'm real happy. I think we're actually farther along than I was hoping, so. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's sick. I think I should have gone bigger, though. Maybe. <laughs> well, let's see what you got going on here. I'm excited. Oh, looks like it healed beautiful, though, man. I'm super stoked about that. We got a ton to do today, so um, I think I want to try and get all of this completely finished try and get some of the cloud work in the background and at least get the tombstones outlined. So I have a pretty ambitious plan for the day. I have a pretty good strategy for just keeping this whole thing controlled. I don't want an unfinished tattoo or something that doesn't look planned. So these first two sessions are basically gonna show me how far I can go for the whole thing. So I wanna have the final session set up for just basically detailing, finishing things up and going through and making sure everything's super perfect. But regardless, everything will be complete. So that's important because unfinished tattoos can't win. No way. All right, bud. Here we go again. I think we got her done for today. That's about all the beating I'm willing to give you. Hell oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Big bright colors. That's a lot of saturation. You got to be pretty raw today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next session, she'll be really healed up. We'll go through, completely finish her, and just get the maximum amount done. I've got plans for every stage, so no matter what, we're gonna be finished. Clean has a lot more experience than me, but I've still got 15 years under my belt, and that's no joke. I think for anybody who thinks I'm a one-trick pony and I can only do black and gray, they're gonna learn to shut their mouth as soon as they see my piece. All right, mister. Go and lay down. I say this is the most fun I've had with a finale piece, I think. Next session, we can really do a lot of detailing. Like this guy, I, you know, the skull, I'll go through and put texture in the vines and do drop shadows and little stuff like that. And, you know, I can put some more little branches coming off the tree, whatever. But as long as everything's just done, then we've got seven hours to make sure everything's great. Well, I mean, if you stand right here, it looks really big. Maybe we can get the judges to do that. I'm pretty stoked, man. I think we got a buttload of work done today. More than I expected, so that's good. 
We got the skull done, we got the rats, we got the bats, we got a little bit of the touch-up done. Next session will be absolutely nothing but just adding little details and making sure this thing's bulletproof. I don't want any questions when we're on stage. Yeah, man. All right, man, let's see what we got going on here. I want to see how it healed and what we got left today. So what happened down here, man? The boots that I got to wear for work, they just they rubbed on it too much. Military wouldn't let you wear tennis shoes, huh? No. Yeah, all right. Well, fair enough. Right when I got home from work, I took my boot off, and I was like, damn it. I feel like we're going to be able to probably fix that. So it's not as bad as you probably thought it was. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, pretty, I'm still pretty worried about it. All right, here's the moment of truth. Never tattooed through a scab before, but that feels great. That's what happens when you don't take care of my tattoo. You get in trouble. <laughs> you know, this one's definitely not just for me. It's representing Team Christian all around. I've come way too far to lose at this point. This grudge match has gone on way too long. It's time to end this crap. I think if Clean has any shot of winning this, he's gonna have to do the best piece in the history of Ink Master. I think we got a $100,000 tattoo right here. Hell yeah. OK, let's go take a look. I love it. The detail in her clothes, the skull, the rats, how colorful it is. And we got a whole leg done. Clean thought he was going to sabotage me, but I don't think the dude knows what he's doing when it comes to strategy, because this is exactly what I wanted to do in the first place. Legs are my favorite tattoo. I was going to do color because I'm tired of hearing how you know, I'm just the black and gray guy. I've been doing color for 15 years, so, you know, I think it's time to shut a lot of people up. What's up, dude? Tyler. I'm Master Canvas. Nice to meet you, too, bro. Definitely. Wow. That's crazy. Everything that we've had to do from detail to finesse, you know, to composition, I want to show in one piece. Of course. So this is it right here. It shows power. It shows a sense of culture. It shows uh, the fact that I can put a piece together as two different things and, and make it look like one. And that's a strong composition. And composition gets you a long way. A lot of this stuff is going to be progression piece, so it's going to work from the bottom, you know, to the top. This little bit of background will be the last thing we do just yeah. to make sure we size it right. A lot of this stuff through here is actually going to be negative. I'm going to leave more more skin in it just to give it more pop. Yeah, like right now my wife's pregnant, man. She can have a baby anytime. Uh, I just, this is a lot on my mind right now. I got to be able to handle this and then handle if I get a phone call, you know, like, hey, I'm having a baby. Kind of this like, is a big what, deal. Yeah, what the fuck I'm gonna do, you know? <laughs> so yeah, the, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot riding right now. Cool, but I think it's to bring it home. Dude, this is spot on. Woo! That is it. So what we're gonna do is I'm I'm just gonna start you laying down. I wanna I wanna make sure that you're comfortable. You know what I mean? I know if you sit down and it gets uncomfortable, you have you can have a tendency to move and shit on me, and I don't want you to really move, you know. So you ready to get started? Yeah, man. You're not dying, are you? I don't, man, I don't care if you twitch, bro. I just want you to sit seven hours, that's all. The scariest part about this is like getting into the, the whole mojo of things and having to break it up, you know? Cause it's big as shit. I'm good, I'm just, it's just a laying down part. It's not the pain. You wanna sit? That better? Should be on the home stretch now, though, show me. We're, going, we're literally going over. I gotta do this middle part right over the butt crack. I just didn't do that yet. Kind of like one of the way and just focus on just getting that out of the way. It's like the midway point. It's literally <laughs> the middle of the United States right there. <laughs> All right, my man. First session down. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. It's gonna be amazing at the end, man. I'm telling you, that's a hundred thousand dollar tattoo right there. Uh, you, you already got, you already got part of that on there. This is one of the things I love doing. So I'm stressed, but, but we got four more sessions. You know what I mean? Yeah. We just got to make sure we sit, get it done, and hammer this shit out. Yo, what's up, bro? Let's we'll see this back, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking ec ecstatic about this. So today we will be working on the tiger's face. Da, 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 da. Last session we had like a full sheet done, you know. This session we're going to do the tiger's face. This is the main part of the tattoo. Um, and then if we have enough time at the end, we'll line out some some helmet helmet shit. Boom! I'm ready, Freddy. I love tattooing animals and stuff, man. Tigers are like one of my favorite things to tattoo. Tigers have so much contrast to them. Like, just the stripes and then they have a stark white, you know, patches that just add so much depth to it. Yeah, that's just negatives, negatives right there, man. So, I'm like looking, really looking forward to seeing this thing come alive. Just that right there? I don't know if that's the way I'm lighting it work. Position there. <laughs> you alright? It better? Yeah. You sure? All right, man, finish for now. We didn't get the full seven hours in the day, but we got a solid six. We still got to get this middle part right here. Next piece, we're just going to go up, knock out that piece. Try to just try to get the shit knocked out. I got you. Yeah, it looks way better. Let's start this shit. We got to get the sides done just to, you know, solidify the bottom part of your back. I'm worried, man. Like, we got a lot to do. This is the session that we have to get every bit of black that's in this tattoo in there because I got to make sure it's healed by the next one. We need to do this now. If you can't sit, then I'm gonna fucking lose. You got picked out of a fucking bunch of people to come get this tattoo. You have, it has to be finished. I realize that. Okay then. So the fact that Tyler says he quits, like, what, what, what the fuck does that mean? Like, you came, you came into this knowing that you had to sit for this and you're gonna sit there and give up on like the fourth session of five. That, ain't, that, that can't happen. I mean, if you're gonna do it, then fucking pack and leave. If you tell me right now, if you sit here and look me in the eye and say that two hours plus another seven hours, if, if, if you're not doing two hours, he's gonna fuck up the entire thing to seven hours. Then I'll, then I'll go in there and I'll lay in there for two more hours. And do you, re more, do you realize, do you realize that you, don't walk away. I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm giving you an answer. So if you think you're gonna walk away and you're gonna ask me a question and I can't answer you, then you got it fucked up, homie. So, looking you dead in your eyes, You've already missed out on two fucking hours already. So you missed out on another two hours, that's four. That's technically over a half a day of work that I have not done. Let's go. Let's go. Is that how you, is that, is that? What do you, you may give, a, give you a hug and pat you on the butt. Just go up, if you want to finish, let's go. We got to do this. All this dude has to do is sit. My job is to literally tattoo him. His job is to sit there and get tattooed. Like, I'm annoyed just because he's not doing his job and I'm doing mine. All right, look, I got this little spot. I got this spot right here. I got it. If, you know, I hit that, I'll fucking leave you alone. Just breathe. Just slow your breathing down. Now. 
Let's stand up. Let me check it out real quick. Um, well, we got the, the part right here that I completely, that was like my part that I was like, I hated to hit, but I know I had to do it. But we got that done. Um, we got this big field over here done. Little touch-ups here and there. We got your whole left side pretty much completed at this point. Um, so, I mean, next session, we just got this whole right side that we just got to run up the side. And pretty much from here to here, we're going to bang that shit out, push this tiger forward. And around your, your butt crack area, we got to hit that little spot. So I just don't want you to feel like, you know, that you need to, that you need to quit because it hurts. You know what I mean? And as long as you sit, I'll tattoo you. I mean, that, that shows right there, you know? You yeah. sat down, we kept going. Yeah. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, man. You excited? Last day. Last day. Bro. Let's do this Let's shit. Do this day. Last day. <laughs> Let's get this shit started, man. Last session. So you got the horn, that, and this right here. All right? You bring this down, and then we'll just finish out the bottom. You feel me? Only got six hours and some change now. All right, here we go. Just wanna make sure you're all right, man. I'm doing this for all the realism guys out there. Gotta take that W for them. There is no way the judges look at this tattoo and don't give me the win. That's it. I think we're done, man. Holy shit. <laughs> 35 hours, man. This is solid as fuck, man. This is gonna be a head turner. From a distance, you see it, and it's dynamic. When you get up on it, it's equally as dynamic as it is 10 feet away. So this is literally the, the end to a journey. Seeing this, you know, finish, dude, every bit of it was worth it, man. Let's go get this title. What's going on? I'm Ryan. I'm going to be a massive canvas. Nice to meet you, Ryan. I'm Tipper. I'm going to show you what we got. It's a representation of the battle that I went through in the competition. And the one thing that really got me through the competition was the voice of my dad just kept telling me, if you're going to be a bear, be a fucking grizzly. You know, it's, it's a strong, powerful image. I'm a super big fan of like bold lines and solid colors. And so neo-traditional is kind of my specialty. And given the freedom to do whatever I want, I wanted to show a big, strong, neo-traditional tattoo. I think it's going to be something that nobody has seen in the competition yet. A giant neo-traditional bag piece is really going to say a lot. Right. I don't think anybody is expecting it, and I think, I think we're going to wow everybody. These 35 hours are going to be pretty tough, I'm not going to lie. But we're going to get through it together. The time frame is not so much of a worry if you're as on board as I am. I actually cannot wait to get that tattooed on me. That's I what cannot I wanted to hear. At all. I'm about to have you lay down and I'll draw on you. I just want to make sure one more thing before I do. It's only about 30 minutes. It's a stencil and draw. That's not bad. You better get comfy and quit fidgeting because I will duct tape you to the table. All right, then we're going to have to lose this pillow. Go for it. You do not have to have that pillow, man. You get as comfortable as you want. Oh, Is that better? Yeah. Cool. All right, Ryan, you ready, bud? Ready. One of the best things you can do is just concentrate on your breathing, okay? That'll help a lot. Now, all the different competitors come and go. I've I've watched them like go through all of the stuff that I just went through. I never would have thought that I would have been in their shoes. And here we are. You know, I think about like what it probably felt like watching some of these guys go through the finale, being on that stage. 
and wondering, man, I wonder what that's got to be a crazy feeling. And I can't believe that that's going to be me. I just never would have thought this is where I would have ended up, especially, you know, um, quitting tattooing for a year to go to school. Almost, I almost left this whole career and industry behind. And that was only four years ago. Just remember, if I cost me $100,000, I'll live with that. But if you cost me $100,000, you can kill I'll me. Fuck you up. Ugh. We're gonna sit you up, okay? Now, however you want to situate these pills, you want to roll that up and like, as long as you're leaning forward like that, that's all I need. Okay? okay. Is that better or worse? Uh, At this point, it just all kind of sucks. Yep. We're a team right now. I can't win without you, so hang in there. Oh, shh. Think about this, man. We're going to get through all this today. Next time, we won't have to do any outlining or anything, which is usually the worst. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I wish you could have finished a line work. That's OK. I mean, it's going to be such a minor amount of line work to have to finish. I, I mean, I at least got them in there, but I'm just going to need to bold them out, you know? But but it's literally like half of this leaf, half of this leaf, and this little ring right here, this outer line of the ring. I mean, it's it's a very, very small amount of work. So even if we did that and it took 30 minutes, we could put a little, we could put some uh, like Bactine on there and then just keep it wrapped up. And just let it chill out and just work on the bottom. Start shading from, you know, the bottom and stuff. It'll be a quick, easy start next time, and we'll go right into shading. You want to step up and check out what we got done? You've got the start of a freaking burly-ass bare back piece right there. Dude, you're the man. I know that shit's not easy. I mean, it wasn't either easy for either one of us, but take it from me, it was probably a lot harder for you. <laughs> I'll see you next time. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. I'm anxious to see how everything healed up. So let me check it out. Oh, right on, dude. Lines look great. Everything looks awesome. But we're just gonna start shading stuff. Sound good? Whenever you're ready. Round two. I'm not on a team anymore. Not now. We're a team. All right, Ron, I'm gonna walk you down. I think that's it for the day, okay? All right. Much better than last time, eh? Oh, much better. So I was able to get all of the black and gray done, which means next time we can start on color. And hopefully if we have another session like we did today, we can get the color done in two yeah. and still have that last one to like go in and button anything up that we need to. Today was a good session. Ryan, what's up, dude? Let's see how everything healed up. Well. Better than I hoped it would be. I was a little worried. Well, today I'm gonna knock out as much color as I can possibly knock out. It's gonna be a long day, okay? Do you want that hole opened up? There you go. Already about to tap out? What? I said already about to tap out? <laughs> Put some more back team and wrap it back up again while I work because I am going to go to the top at some point and I don't want it to kill you. No matter what I do today, we're going to be behind schedule. Last call. Okay. Relax. Don't get up, just relax and breathe, okay? That last little bit, we were buzzing through pretty hard, and, and I know you were straining, so I want to give you time to catch your breath and and relax for a second, okay? I don't want you just to jump up and, and get lightheaded or anything, so I want you to just chill here for a few minutes, okay? I'll tell you right now that we're, 
we're going into this last session a little behind schedule. It's just the way it is. We're both gonna have to bring it next time if we wanna knock this out, okay? Today's the day, man. Today's the day. All the work that we've done, today is the last day to try to knock this out, and we got a lot riding on this. We got a little bit of touch-up to do, and a little bit of finishing up on that frame, and then some textures and some details, and we're gonna, we're gonna blow them out of the water with this one. I told him before I even got there that I will be the next Deep Master, and there's no doubt in my mind that I will. Breathe. I'm done with that frame, okay? Now I just need to do like a once over everything and just make sure it's all tightened up. I knew I was going to be stressed out this last session, but I didn't expect it to be this stressful. All right, dude, hop up and check it out, okay? Holy shit, Tiffer, this is, this is fucking awesome. If you're gonna be a bear, be a fucking grizzly. Like, I'm stoked that we were able to get this done. I'm stoked that it looks the way it does. But now it's a waiting game. There's still two other strong competitors that are putting together amazing back pieces. And I couldn't have done it without you, Ryan. And, and this could have gone so many different ways and I could have had a canvas that couldn't sit or made my life hell and, and you didn't. And I think we made a great team and I'm super pumped to show this off to the world. Next time I see you, will be in Vegas showing this thing off. Let's wrap it up. I'm Joey. I'm Tommy. Master Kevin. Nice to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you, man. You ready? Here's what I got planned for you. That is badass, dude. I went with just a really badass warrior Viking skull, man. Like, I got warrior blood running through my veins. And if I was to wear a back piece, this is the one I'd want to wear. I'm going to draw in a lot of the beard, the flame work, a lot of the background. Like, my goal is to fill up as much as your back as possible with the most solid, simple, yet just extremely tough, powerful tattoo I can do. I made it to where if we got to stop at any point, we'll, we'll have plenty of good stopping points. Um, but my goal today is we're gonna line it and I'm gonna try to even get in some black work if possible, if you're feeling it. This thing is gonna be seen from 50 feet away. I'm gonna stick this thing on, try to get as close as possible. If anybody ever tries to start shit with you, just take your shirt off and turn around, dude. A lot of these lines, dude, can be simplified. If towards the end you're hurting, just let me know. I can always just at least get in there and line the the easy part of it, just so we have it. I don't know who you're going against, but they're gonna be on their A game, aren't they? This is probably the most important tattoo I'm ever gonna do. Get comfy, man. I don't babysit lines. I don't sit here and shoot the shit. I'm gonna crank my machine to 11 and ride the lightning, all right? Just zone out and just let me do my thing. Dude, we're fucking cruising now, man. It's going good and just like super tender now. No, I get it, dude. You're, you have every right to be. Yeah, we'll probably uh, get to, I'm just gonna block in a little bit more black on the shield and then we'll probably call it. Super ahead of schedule and I don't want you to have a rough heel. We're almost, almost there. All right, buddy, we are done for the day. Really appreciate you sitting as well as you did. Appreciate your speed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's badass. Yeah, dude. It's so fucking good. If I had this back piece, I would be starting fights left and right, knowing that no one would punch me in the face because I had this on my back. 
you can take probably 10 steps that way and you know exactly what's going on. I mean, we got the whole outline done within, what, two hours? You know, we got the whole outline, we got a lot of the black work in, a lot of the technical stuff already knocked out of the way. So honestly, dude, like, it's all downhill from here. Today was the hardest day, for sure. I'm, I'm extremely confident this thing's gonna be done. What's up, buddy? Let me see that thing. Dude, you heal fantastic. A couple little things here and there, but nothing that when I touch it up won't handle, you know? I'm gonna knock out this helmet today. I'm gonna try to get as much of it as possible. Go ahead and uh, get comfy. All right, buddy, here we go. Straight up tattooing. That's what we're gonna do today. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of bust sections out just so you don't have to, you know, I'm not gonna do with the horn and then come down here. I want you to be able to have a certain section that you heal at a time. Dude, this thing is tough as nails, man. I forgot how cool this thing was. Once that helmet's done, we're not, even if you're feeling good or I'm feeling good, we're just gonna call it. Pushing yourself does more damage to your tattoo than anything. How you doing, man? You good? We're definitely getting towards the tail end, so there's light at the end of the tunnel for you. All right, buddy, we're all done for the day. Check it out. Yeah, we got a lot done. So we definitely did pretty much everything I wanted to and more, we hit a good checkpoint. Basically, other than a couple of things with the brass trim, like the whole helmet is done. That's the most intricate part. Just our second sitting, we've just been pumping this thing out. I guarantee you the other two are nowhere near this. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good, man. I'm pretty sure I can finish this thing like well under the, you know, the time limit. And then we'll have enough time to do like, you know, button it up, do some touch ups, sculpt it a little bit. Just make, make sure it's bulletproof. Oh, dude, you healed fantastic again. We're gonna finish the helmet and then we're probably gonna knock out everything except the fire. All right, buddy, you did good. Go check it out. It's coming together, dude. So we just got flames, uh, background, a couple touch-ups, and then um, like in the scales, I'm just gonna you know put like a darker tone in them so they stand out a little bit. But other than that, we're pretty much done. I think this is one of the toughest back pieces Ink Master has ever seen. You sat wonderful, you killed it. Let's go wrap you up. How are you? Good, how are you? You ready? Oh, so Last ready. day. Yes. All right, let's see this puppy. I can see you had a little rough patch of healing down here, but you didn't pick it, so it's all pretty, and it's still pretty saturated. Like, I think it's gonna, I don't, I don't even need a second pass over that. I'm actually gonna do a nice uh, crispy black outline around the flames just to give it some more separation. A little bit of punch those blacks in, sculpt those lines, get a couple holidays over here, just more of just babying what we have. It's touch up day. All right, buddy, here we go. The last thing I want to do is give anyone a reason to doubt this tattoo. I'm feeling super confident on this one. Look at this tattoo. There's no way you can deny what we just did. All right, Joey, do you want the good news or the bad news? Bad news. Well, there is no bad news. Good news is we're done. Go check it out. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I caught you off guard. It's crazy what a touch-up can do, huh? Like you look around the armor, I sharpened everything up, I put new black in there, I relined a lot of it. Like, I want that black to like really, really stand out. This is a no questions tattoo. If this is what I can produce, I'm content. That's worth a hundred grand to me. Well, I can guarantee you one thing, that Team Clean's taking this home and it ain't gonna be tiffer. So let's wrap you up. that go home, the harder this competition gets. Only one of you will earn $100,000, feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master.
All of you have been fighting to keep your team intact, but now you must step aside and once again put your fate in the hands of your coach. Oh, yeah, man. Step up, clean. The pressure is on, because last time I went head-to-head -head and lost, one of my guys went home. We need this win. This week, we're testing technical application. That's fine. Technical application is super important in tattooing because it's the bones. Can you pull a line straight? Can you saturate color? Can you do good solid blends? It's the structure on which every tattoo is built. Coaches, for this grudge match, you will face off tattooing not one, not two, but four one-hour tattoos. Four one-hour tattoos? There is no room for second guessing. You need to make sure every time you touch the needle to the skin that it is in the exact spot you need it to be, and you need to make sure that it sticks. These are small, efficient tattoos. These are actually the toughest tattoos in the business to do. That's right. Street Shop 101, man. But that's not all. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Why would it be? Artists. Week after week, your coaches have been pushing you to your limits. Now it's time for you to push them to their limits. What does that even mean? This ought to be fun. Team Clean, you will determine two of the subjects and styles that both coaches must tattoo. We're just going to have to figure out how to stop Christian. I've got some ideas. Team Christian, you will determine the other two subjects and styles, creating four head-to-head -head face offs And your coach's specialties are off the table. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which means no new school and no black and gray realism. Make wise decisions, because there's one last thing that all of you should know. Of course there is. Of course. Of course there is. The winner of each head-to-head -head face off will get to select one artist from their team that will be safe from elimination. Yeah. We got this, guys. We got this. Four people are going to be safe from elimination. You're head to head against each other. It's going to be apples to apples. Teams, choose wisely for your coaches. This is your safety. Artists, go ahead and discuss what styles and subjects you want to assign the coaches. Do what you got to do. All right, guys, any ideas? You can do Japanese, do a tango mask. It's not going to happen, Chris. It has to be something that clean can't do. That's the main thing. Christian, he's slow. He likes to take his time to think each dot, as opposed to clean's gonna be like bomb, 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 bomb. I just hope they're smart enough to give us that you can do it an hour, do successfully. Color realistic, <laughs> you know. Color realism. What do you guys think they're gonna be doing in one hour? This is a street shop. Yeah, but we don't want to make it so easy. Color realism, strawberry. Cause that's something you have to finesse. Let's do it. They're not gonna be ready. Nope. All right. Good. We set. Here we go. Team Clean, what subject and style are you assigning the coaches for the first face-off? We have decided to pick American traditional panther heads. I love tattooing panther heads. I know I can do it perfect and fast as hell. Team Christian, the power to choose the second face-off is yours. What's it gonna be? We have decided to assign the coaches a color realistic strawberry. We got a an hour, guys. Are we doing that's like completely impossible? <laughs> Color realism takes way too long. That was the stupidest choice you could have made. Team Christian, what subject and style will the coaches be tattooing in the third face-off? A geometric wolf head. Nothing but straight lines. You can use some black shading for it if you need to. At least my team got one of them right. And finally, Team Clean, what are you assigning for the fourth face-off? Colored graffiti lettering. I didn't even see this coming. I, I, I'm so excited right now. I know Christian's going to flop and the bet on this one. All right, the grudge match is set. Good luck. Let's do it. All right. Today, we're testing technical applications, so we want to see these guys knock these things out of the park, clean as can be. Are the whiskers normally hollow? Just when you draw them I got four of these things to do. Four one-hour tattoos. This is going to be a rock'em, sock'em marathon. Don't be afraid to give yourself bigger openings. Don't be afraid to shut your pie hole. Let's just find a good reference and let Clean do what Clean does. I don't know what was going on with Team Christian's pick, but I think they were trying to stump me up. I mean, it probably couldn't get any easier to draw a geometric tattoo. Nice try. What I'm doing is I'm just creating the shape, and then I'm going to go through and, and detail. In reality, I think they stumped their own coach up. Whose uh, idea was the strawberry? I didn't say strawberry. I don't know who said strawberry. It was my idea initially. I apologize. 
I watched my own team tattoo, and they can't finish an outline in three hours, but they think that I can do it in one hour with shading. That's ridiculous. What were you guys thinking with this mother We were mostly trying to trip him up. All right, coaches, you have one hour to tattoo an American traditional panther head, and your time starts now. Mower down. This hour tattoo is perfect for traditional tattooing. We're gonna find out right now who can sink a line one pass flawlessly. Whip, 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 whip. I learned on traditional tattooing. It's what I came up on. At least this one, I think I can beat clean on. Three, two, one. That's it, time is up, machine's down. I'm done, man, I can't do any more of this Get ready for your next tattoo. Plenty of time, Clint. These dudes are gonna look tough as with some strawberries blasted on them. You have one hour to tattoo a realistic strawberry, and your time starts now. I knew he was gonna do that. What, cut it now? <laughs> Clean, cut the strawberry in half to kind of bypass all the little seeds. Smart, you gotta admit. I'm not gonna admit it. <laughs> The hardest part of color realism is that it's so precise and detailed. Do you want, like, the avocado color for that? No. See what I'm doing right here? Yeah, you're making a bright-ass line green. I'm a fast tattooer, but Christian's definitely going to struggle on this tattoo because time is going to kill him. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Well, there's that. Christian seems pissed. Yeah, he knows. His team knows, too. Next up, you have one hour to tattoo a geometric wolf head, and your time starts now. I want to play it. <laughs> God damn, that's a clean line. They don't call them clean for nothing. I think that is a looking okay. Yeah. Having shading in my geometric wolf is definitely gonna give me an edge because Clean's piece is gonna be a flat piece of line work. When it comes to anything black and gray, I own it. Thank you for all the help today. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. An hour. One more hour to go. Last face off. Hallelujah! You have one hour to tattoo, color graffiti lettering, and your time starts now. Golden yellow and then yellow. White highlights. I spent most of my childhood doing graffiti. Graffiti lettering pretty much developed me into a new school tattooer. How much time we got? 34 and a half. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm hauling ass. Wall to wall saturation and solid color. All right, guys, you have 15 minutes left. Sorry, bud. Stay up from behind me, please. What is it, Reed? Ink? Don't even talk to me. Hey, Clean, why do you only have your bottom guys talk? Everybody's got a place on the team. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machines down. Time is up. Grudge match over. Yes. Good Damn. job, dude. You're a beast. Woo! The first time I tagged anything was about two weeks ago. <laughs> it showed. <laughs> Clean definitely didn't let us down on this one. No way. Mark, Sebastian, you guys have six hours to complete a Japanese tattoo. You ready? I'm ready, bro. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Let's tattoo! Oh. Mark called out Japanese. That in itself is a huge asking if you don't do Japanese on a daily basis. You do your part, keep still. I'll do my part and bless you with the dope tattoo. Awesome. Japanese has a lot of rules. If you're not following those rules, your tattoo probably isn't gonna be Japanese. I picked a pretty classic Japanese subject, the peony flower. And in the bulb of the peony flower, I placed a skull. The trickiest part is definitely gonna be the outline. 
I have to make it bold. I have to make it solid. I have to make the points sharp. When I came here before I showed up and realized how dope I wasn't, I just put my head down and just started tattooing my ass off. I just want to be better, period. Yeah. I was a professional fighter as well as a tattooer, and those are two very difficult careers to intermingle. What made me decide to focus strictly on tattooing is I was fighting to feed my ego. I'm tattooing to feed my family and to grow as an artist. Thigh ripper. Wanted to get a good fit, a good shape. I've seen a lot of tigers in Japanese design, so I'm gonna do a tiger, but instead of attempting to do it the Japanese way, I'm gonna do my black and gray realism. And I wanna do some color realistic Japanese flowers, and I'm not gonna try to go the basic route and do cherry blossoms. I'm doing a tsubaki, a Japanese flower, which means love. I don't do Japanese, but I mean, confidence-wise, I'm technically sound as a tattoo artist. What do you think got you to the finale? Consistency. The constant level of quality is like, okay, you weren't in the top, but I wasn't in the bottom. Keep your head down, get to the finale, then go there and show off. I set my standards pretty high, and I'm gonna keep reaching. I wanna show people that I can step outside of that box. Wow, you were really kicking ass on this. Oh yeah, I'm not a big fan of being sure. You better be done outlining. You only got four hours left on these tattoos. I mean, when you see the pace, I'm going, look how far he is. Yeah. I was planning to do this whole tattoo in one line weight, but one of the lines is getting away from me. The only way to correct it is by calligraphying this line, which means I'm gonna have to calligraphy every single line in the tattoo now. I've got this little voice in my head screaming at me, you're running out of time. All right, Katie, Aaron, you guys have six hours to get fruity. Yeah. And your time starts now. Woo! This is where the party begins. Mm -hmm. Put the stencil on you. Careful, Katie. Shut up, Aaron. Is that backwards? Do your tattoo. I'm like, doing what it. What are you doing? Whoop Katie's ass. Zick. This is his tactic. He tries to distract me while I'm tattooing, and I can't let him do it. Fruit tattoos can be pretty fun. I mean, we got grapes, we got bananas, we got kiwis, we got limes, we got watermelon. There's so many different colors, there's so many different textures. The door's wide open. Hey, Katie, on a scale of like one to badass, where's your tattoo gonna be? The most badass, duh. I have no intentions of tripping Aaron up with this tattoo. Fair and square, bring it on. Your line work is crispy, girl. That means a lot, thank you very yeah. much. I wanna show off bold, consistent line work, smooth color gradients, lots of heavy black, and then also packed in color. We're broskies and you can be honest with me. How did you get so weird and eccentric? I just decided one day I was tired of trying to fit in with everybody else. Everything between these two ears is chaos. So let's like make this banana as insane as I could possibly make it, but still look like a banana. I wanted a banana tattoo that's gonna punch you in the face. The old banana punch in the face trick. That's it. I've got sections of pop art full color that are super bright. I've got sections of crazy heavy blacks, and I put it all together and make this big banana sandwich, and it looks awesome. Like, I'm so stoked on this tattoo. You gonna try to push any of this? Contrast that's down here up. No, because you're gonna lose what it is. But I'm pretty confident that once I get all the color in there, the heavy contrast makes sense. I can't add more black to the top. It's gonna eradicate all these fine nuances and that shape is gonna be gone. I think DJ doesn't know what he's talking about, but the fact remains, he's gotten in my head. It's a tough one. Looks like you guys are reading these clocks in Japanese. Pick it up, two hours left. No pressure, right? I still have more than half of this tattoo to go. See how much faster I color the line? Yeah. My battle right now is to just finish the tattoo. That outline took Mark four hours, so he only has two hours to color that giant tattoo in. What is going on with Sebastian's tattoo? Tigers aren't Japanese. 
Where's the flow? I'm gonna look at that thing. Hard as shit, yeah. Search for Japanese in that book. <laughs> Tick tock of the clock. Five, four, three, two, one. Put them down. I love it. It's a Japanese tattoo, plain and simple. Definitely think this got what it takes to take out Mr. Matthews over there. I love it. I got my get back. Dude, in all honesty, I didn't know what your flower was when I first glanced at it. I bet you I'm still closer to Japanese on the map than you are, bro. It looks good, but it's still elementary. You still haven't yet utilized being an adult, but all right. Here we go. I told you seven years ago I don't argue with bullshit. Julia, Angel, you guys have six hours to do your grudge match animal tattoo, and your time starts now. Animals are super difficult. I mean, there's hair, there's texture, there's anatomy. I'm an animal lover, so nobody better with these animals. You hear me? Let's begin. Why'd you choose a wolf? Wolves are badass. Wolves are really hard to tattoo. Because they're full of so many different tricks, like the fur, yep. the shine in the eyes. I feel like wolves are very classic, very timeless. They work well on anybody. One of the things I was scared of was getting a really girly tattoo. Oh my god. <laughs> and not getting the kittens. <laughs> Do you do a lot of sharks at home? Or? I've only done one, and um, that's it. A shark, just a quiet predator. But when tampered with, they bite. All the battle scars that I'm putting on this shark shows all the hell it's been through. What's going on over here? Gone fishing. That is a pretty intimidating fishing trip. I'm just trying to take my time, not rush through things. Yeah. I just want to be better than I was yesterday. Yeah, totally. Since my season, I've progressed a lot. My details have gotten tighter. My black and grays are more solid. A friend of mine actually gave me one tiny piece of advice. Treat it like a painting. Yeah. That's it. I'm looking to prove my artistry that I'm a creative individual. So how long have you been tattooing for? Tattoo in 20 years. I haven't done anything for 20 years. <laughs> Julia throwing an animal challenge at me. Are you looking to make peace with me? Or are you trying to insult me? Do you think I can't do that? I don't know how to look at this, but I intend to win this grudge match. Hey, make this shark as real as possible. We're trying to win here. I will wipe the floor with you. It's a big day. Time to end this grudge. Let's do it. This is a fight. In this corner, we got Keith. In this corner, we got King Ruck. Duke's up. Let's go. Your six-hour realism challenge starts right now. All right. Let's do this. Realism could be really tough, especially in a competition setting. You can't just replicate the photo. You have to use your artistic abilities to make it a quality tattoo. You ready? Yep. Big dude, some of those looking crazy. Brooke picks realism, and I should already know. Of course, he's gonna pick something that he sees that I don't do a lot of. But the thing he doesn't know is that I can do it. Behold the harpy eagle, crispy and fierce. I'm gonna be honest, man. That bird kind of looks like you. Yeah, <laughs> sweet dude. I, I take it as a compliment. It's a self-portrait almost. Big badass eagle. Good <laughs> I've opened my own business. It gave me a lot more confidence. Honestly, I feel like a brand new Keith. So let's just bring it. Yeah. I see you got some color out there. Uh, I'm gonna splash a little color in the eyes. Okay. You guys need to see how I saturate some color. I'm still salty about my saturation problems in the first tattoo that I did. So I'm gonna make sure the shadowing, the highlights, and saturation are all the way in place. King Rock is doing a skull. I love skulls. But his design is it's really boring. boring. Stagnant. King Ruckus chose realism, but Keith. 
is doing a better job. Those little textures he's doing? That looks awesome. King Rook, I'm taking that throne from you, and you're making me no king no longer. You're looking at King Keith. How does it feel to be back here? You get like a little nostalgic, but then you're like, yeah, I also can't wait to see my babies. Two little kids. Two little boys. Two boys? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. We just moved into our first like place with just me and them, because my husband passed away, so we were living with my mom. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. We just uh, celebrated the fourth year of his passing. Me and my kids, we talk about it very openly, and that gives me the strength to move forward. Today in my life, I'm stronger than I've ever been, and I'm happier than I've ever been because I know who I am now on my own. Okay, this is the final hour. One hour remains to finish these up. I have time to spare. The white highlights are the last thing I put into this tattoo. This shark actually has like friggin' bite mark bullet holes on it. This thing's been through some hell. Since I have so much time left, I feel I can go right back in, tic-tac-toe the hell out of this shark, make sure all the details are in, T's across, I's are dotted, and make sure it's put together. Man, I just came from Angels. This thing is texture, friggin' nightmare. He keeps throwing all the little baby textures in there. It's just not helping out. Julia? Holy Please. shit, yeah. the texture of that wolf looks really nice. It but it does look kind of dark to me. It's but... a little dark, but I think she's separating the elements enough to know exactly where the ear starts, where the head yeah. starts. Man, everyone's gonna have to step it up. And these animal tattoos will end in five, four, three, two, one. That's it, this grudge match is over. I mean, any more spot on, we'd be swimming with it. It looks like I could grab it off the skin. Is it the wolf you always wanted? <laughs> yes, definitely. Yay! Gotta go. Awesome, how about you? Uh, just didn't want to let it go, wanted to keep at it. It felt like old times again. A couple of kids hanging out, you know what I mean? Doing tats. But you didn't tell me to go myself. I don't think I've ever told you to go yourself. Do you want me to tell you to go yourself? No, 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 that's all right. We're, we're no, we don't have that. to do that. Yeah. All right, Gonzo, Austin. This is the black and gray showdown you guys have been waiting for. You ready? Yeah, man. Are you ready? Do this. Your six hour grudge match tattoo starts now. Perfect. I can't believe Austin called out black and gray. Hell yeah, man. Let's hop up here and start zapping, bro. If you don't do black and gray all the time on a daily basis, it's really hard to get these super smooth blends. And Gonzo, that's what he does every day. All right, man, good to go? Yes, sir. Cool. I don't know what Austin's trying to prove, but this is a ballsy move. more what you do, I'm assuming. Yeah, man. What I'm doing today is this beautiful woman's face with a nice, harsh light source, and then adding a rugged skull texture morph into the back of it. Kind of like Beauty and the Beast all in one. Man, you might not know how to line, but you definitely know how to shade. I'm glad to hear what weaknesses of mine are, because that's how you get better. If they don't like my outlines, that's fine, because I don't want to give them to you anyway. So the only thing that they can say to me today is that it would have been nice to see a line from you, but amazing tattoo. All right, what are you doing over here? They got black and gray roads. Going simple, less things for me to up, less stuff for you guys to have to judge. All right. You know, I'm tattooing what I like to call an Austin rose. It's just a straight up illustrative rose. In my season, I was definitely perceived as probably one of the weakest tattooers in the house, but every boxer's got a strategy. Gotta put a little stank on this thing over here to make sure it looks good. Suicide mission if you ask me. 
I'm not scared of Gonzo. Pressure makes diamonds, and I'm a hard mother. Don't underestimate me. All right, Matt and Katie, you got six hours to complete this grudge match tattoo. Lady and a cat. Katie, you ready? Hell yeah. Matt, you ready? Born ready. All right, let's tattoo. All right. Let's do this. Party time. It was up until 4.30 this morning drawing. Can't wait to make this. Here we go. Hey, Katie, try to remember to go up to the line today. I'll make a clean ass tattoo. That's all that matters. You know, it really doesn't matter how clean her outline is. I could tattoo this thing blindfolded. <laughs> the design is just too good. You can't touch it. Hell yeah. Even though I lost the first round, I'm very comfortable today. I don't really do cats, but I definitely do lady faces. I do a lot of lady faces. Yes. I'm slaying the out of this tattoo right now. Pride goeth before the fall, Katie. You can say all you want, Matt, but my lines are better than yours. It's going to be a cat fight today. <laughs> It's a strange piece of art. And the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. This design is just too cool to lose. I want to show a contrast between light and dark, feminine and masculine. The only thing that I regret about this tattoo is that it's not going on me. Did you illustrate your own reference, or is that a Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> no, I, I drew that. <laughs> da Vinci and Michelangelo and all those dudes entered into a lot of the style of how I draw. I love my drawing. I know it's going to be a sick tattoo, and I know they're going to like it. I'm going to kick my dog's Only in your dreams. Ooh, stop. Wow. Whoa, chill out. All right, guys. This is the power hour. You only have one more hour. What the hell is Austin thinking? If Austin's trying to beat Gonzo at his own game, then Austin should have come here with a design that was going to blow Gonzo's design out of the water. One went way simple, and one went crazy as <laughs> Gonzo's got no minds again, but he's super smooth. I understand that he's going for the, like, distressed, you know, skeleton face more, but to me, it just looks like she had a little issue here. Yeah, he's really he needs got... a better primer, oh you know? Oh, my God. He's got to really punch different textures throughout it. Like, yes. this is That's a skull exactly that has a lot of texture, and this is a smooth yes. girl's face. Yes, I mean, who knows? Maybe Gonzo shits the bed. Austin's tattoo, it's looking pretty clean. I'm gonna beat you, man. It was over before it began. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one. This grudge match tattoo is over. Bro, insane. Seriously, I can't even. That's freaking bananas. Beyond happy. Thank you very much, man. I'm a hugger, bro. As good of a tattoo as you did, man, this is my wheelhouse, and I put every spoke of that wheel in that tattoo. No matter what the judges say, I like that rose. But I feel like in a six-hour tattoo, man, you could have shown a lot more. If nothing else besides possibly crazy, it was definitely ballsy. Definitely got both of those, crazy and balls. Sketchy Mike, you guys have six hours to do a fierce tiger tattoo. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's tattoo. Six hours. It's got to be perfect. Turn towards me all the way. There we go. Sketchy called out tiger head. There's so many details. The teeth, the mouth, the eyes. These things are full of texture. The fur, whiskers even. What's not to love about a tough, fierce tiger head tattoo? Ready? Yeah. Cool. Dang. Tiger is loose. When I competed the first time, I didn't get to show what I can do. Cool design, dude. Thanks. This is how I like to draw tigers. My tiger's breaking through a chain because it's a strong animal. I want this tattoo to look tough with a strong line weight 
solid blacks, solid colors. It's gonna look the same in 30 years. I'm not trying to stress too much. <laughs> you never look like you're stressing. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you that. What is this thing got going on? Daggers and flames and tiger, oh, kitchen yeah. sink. I told you I'm not playing this time. My first two designs were just tiger heads, but I was like, what's gonna give it that extra punch? What's gonna be the nail in the coffin? Like, I wanted to crush it. How's the time going? I mean, you're not even done with this outline. You got enough time? Yeah, yeah, plenty of time, man. Once the line work's done, it's smooth sailing from there. Yeah, they always say that no rush thing. <laughs> Until you're rushing. Hopefully it don't work out that way. Four hours remain, guys. Four more hours. I got a lot of work to do. It's my own fault. I probably shouldn't have done all this extra shit. I'm just hoping that it doesn't backfire. I'm balls deep. I don't hear you. <laughs> In this booth, we got Oba, the chocolate dynamite Jackson. And in this booth, we got Tiara, the pink thundercracker Gordon. <laughs> you guys have six hours to complete an insect tattoo. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's tattoo. Hell yeah. Tiara called insect tattoos. I'm bugging out. Oh, look at that tooth. This is just like the one I lost in 64. Bug tattoos can be super difficult because there's tons of little details. And if you mess those details up, well, you got a shitty tattoo. You ready? Yep. Is this going to be your favorite tattoo? It's definitely going to be up there. I'm feeling kind of confident. I'm getting to do exactly what I wanted to do. What the hell kind of bug is that? You know, I'm going with the lemon theme. I even got to put a tooth into my design, and I collect teeth also, and bugs. I don't know why, really, I collect them. I just find it fascinating. I think your designs are cool. They really, like, fit you, you know? And I'm, like, just noticing that, like, this might be, like, the outside of lemon, too. It is. It's yeah. a lemon peel. Like, if it shuts and the wings go in, it's like a lemon. Yeah. You thought about that while you were drawing it. Yeah. That's cool that people think about that stuff. I do. Drop. I think about it all day. It's good. It's good. I think about bugs and lemons. <laughs> I think I've been sometimes underestimated throughout my career. Maybe it's because I'm a little weird. I like to be creative. I think my stuff is not ordinary. It's not something that you would see every day. It's something that's a little weird. It makes you think. All right, we are at the halfway point. Three hours down, three hours to go. What made you want to do a praying mantis? I don't know, I just liked it with all the textures and spikes and shit. The praying mantis proportions are really cool. Like the size of its arms versus its body and head, it looks very chic. If somebody put it on a Paris runway, it would just go right along with everything else. I'm really glad you could come back to do this uh, tattoo. When you left, we didn't even know really what was going on. When I went to my doctor, it was basically environmental stress on my heart. The environment definitely puts a lot of stress on you that people don't realize. I wish I hadn't had left in a competition, but then I think everything works out in a certain way. I started taking care of myself a lot better. I don't have type 2 diabetes anymore. I lost 37 pounds. So now I get even more outfits. I'm like super excited about that. Tiara, are you taking dance breaks? Is that a challenge? I mean, it could be. I don't know shit about bugs, but I came to win. TR may be my friend, but I did not come here to lose. Loser does not look good on me. We're down to two hours. You better sharpen up those claws. Two hours left. Ryan said sharpen up those claws. Yeah. I didn't put any claws in mine. I didn't either. I think you should add claws to yours last minute. Definitely not going to do that. I'm 
Are you thickening your line or fixing your mistakes? Thickening my line, different line weights. Mm -hmm. Man, you couldn't just do a tiger head. You had to throw everything else in that you've ever done. Yeah, I wanted to frame it out. It took Sketchy almost two hours to outline that thing. It's got a lot of lines in it. I know. They're all built up unevenly. He's yeah. got to fix those. If he can pull it off, it's dope. I really like Mike's design. Man, I love yeah, Mike's design. Mike's. It's solid, it's simple. You know what I think it does need? Big, heavy, punched-in outline. It's true. All right, I'm counting it down, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. This grudge match is over. Just in time. I am stoked, definitely. We're done. It's awesome. Dig it? Badass. Well, it was a tiger head challenge. Put my heart into it, man. Put my heart into it. <laughs> it's very I tried clean. to make it dynamic. You could have just went with the tiger. They wanted a cat fight, so now they got it. Kyle, Tim, you guys have bulldog tattoos. I'm very excited about this. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? No, I am. Let's tattoo. Oh, just stand nice and straight for me. Sweet. Good luck, Tim. You're going to need it. All right, you ready? Tim called bulldogs. I love bulldogs. Obviously, bulldogs have a distinct look. If you make the nose too long, well, guess what? That ain't a bulldog. Don't put wrinkles in it. Guess what? Bulldogs have wrinkles. And this is probably the most exciting day ever on Ink Master, period. I am confident in my design, but after losing that 90-minute tattoo, I'm feeling super anxious and kind of doubtful in my own skills. Just from the looks of it, it looks like you went home and made some changes to your tattooing. A little more neo trad, way fancier than anything I've ever seen you do. And they keep saying I'm a one-trick pony. So. Tim talks down to me because I'm a traditional guy. He acts like I'm not an artist, but I am an artist. I've been an artist since birth, man. I'm ready to take this win home. Train a baby Jesus over there? Yeah, a little bit for you. Tim, you're going down. All right, Cam, Pond, you guys have six hours to make these hearts beat. Are you ready? Absolutely. Are you ready? Let's tattoo. I'll hop up and get the stencil on over here. I picked the subject matter because I want to make sure that we have a level playing field. I want Cam to have no more excuses so he can stop his shit talking. I want him to be able to do his style and I'll do my style and may the better man win. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Pawn's playing a total mind game right now. Cam went home on a sacred heart. If he loses this, this guy's never going to be able to sleep again. He'll never live it down. I didn't see your last Sacred Heart. Is this similar or different, or? Oh, it's like totally different. This time I was just like, I want to do something that I think is cool, win or lose. I really want to mix up a couple styles within this design. The flame and the blood drops are a lot more traditional. The thorns are pretty illustrative, but I'm using a realistic anatomical heart. Cam, you doing okay over there, bud? Better than you. My design is going to blow ponds out of the water. This is the one that's finally going to put that little in his place. It's a sacred apple. He has a sacred heart apple, New York style. I'm gonna do a new school sacred heart New York theme mashup. So it's gonna be more of a parody of a sacred heart. I'm gonna use an apple to replace the heart. And instead of a crown of thorns, I'm gonna use a worm. And where the fire would be on the tattoo, I'm gonna use a Statue of Liberty torch. What made you decide new school? Just because he called me a one trick pawn. I wanted to show that I can beat him with more than just a traditional style, because he's doing some black and gray bullshit. This kid literally did black and gray the entire competition. Doing black and gray, Cam? Exactly. Pretty much expected exactly that style. Ha ha, it worked. I take that so goddamn much. I got you, man. 
He never stops to listen. I can't wait to knock Cam off his pedestal and whoop his ass again. All right, guys, we are halfway through these bulldog tattoos. Three hours remaining, guys. Because I love expressive and emotionally driven tattoos, I like creating mood, and oftentimes mood's created through single tones. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna do a simpler palette, mostly purples, and it's gonna look pretty one-tone-ish. I don't know if that's going to go against me, but I feel like it's what this piece needs. So did you grow up, you know, drawing as a kid and illustrating? Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Absolutely. And everyone in my family says it's my first girlfriend is just the fact that I've always just been in love with art my whole life, since I was like four. Even though I'm doing my style, I'm still going to take a risk and do something that you haven't seen before and show some versatility even for me. All right, guys, this is the final hour. Only one hour remains. These guys, are, I don't know what's going on with their color theory. What happened to Tim's tattoo? Purple in the mouth, purple in the background, purple bow. I mean, he's got 16 different shades of purple, but that outline is so clean. Kyle's tattoo looked great to me in terms of cleanliness, but the pipe is the same color as the dog. Oh, Everything is all the same color and patterns. Yeah. What is what? Right now, nobody's knocking anybody out. It's still anybody's game. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it. This grudge match is over. Beautiful. Came out really good. The colors, everything. He's a good boy. <laughs> oh, shit. That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. to see what Cam has his butt hurt about. If it isn't the old one-trick pond, you ready to finally nut up or shut up, or are you just gonna keep it up with the passive-aggressive shit this time? Oof. <gasps> I don't know what I did that got you so butt hurt, but. The entire season, constantly is like, oh, he doesn't even have any talent. He shouldn't even be here. He only does one thing. It's like, you tell me I only do one thing? If Cam got to challenge everyone he had to grudge with, it would be a group challenge <laughs> for Cam. You know, you say that I was this lone wolf, didn't want anything to do with the team. You were a huge part of that. I know you're kind of butthurt that I gave you the Sacred Heart over the geometric mandala thing. I could have sworn I handed you a home run tattoo and you went home on it. So, like, I'm like, I don't know what he's mad at me about. You're pretending to play this whole, like, oh, I'm watching out for you, man. It's like you watched out for me by giving me something that obviously ended up biting me in the butt rather than doing something that I would clearly knock out of the park. I'm not gonna lie, I hated you. I feel like he's just gonna punch Pond. All right, let's go. I heard enough. Let's go. Yeah, man. I, it's hard to try and save someone who doesn't want to be saved. I can handle my shit. Let's see if you can handle it today. Oh, man. here we go. <laughs> Smells like hamburgers up <laughs> here. Here we go. So much oh, beef. Okay. Hey, guys. I see you guys are still at it. Any of you guys got hemorrhoid cream? Whoa. Hemorrhoid cream? Because he's butt hurt. Oh, oh, boy. How long have you been sitting on that? Just now. No pun intended. That's good. <laughs> What's the deal? We really want to know, why do you guys not like each other. I was trying to be like a team player. You know, the whole point of thing was men versus women. It was like men, women, Cam at one point. I was just trying to play the game. I'm not here to win any popularity contests. I'm not here to kiss ass. I'm not here to brown nose. I came here to do tattoos and I came here to do the best work possible. And obviously that's not really all that high on your agenda because I it shows. It shows that I made it farther than you, dude. Oh, you shit. Ah, nope. I want some tattoos to start talking. Put your money where your mouth is, yes. huh? There's money involved. We're gonna give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo to level the playing field. And we're gonna pick what you guys are gonna tattoo. 90 minutes doesn't scare me. But the winner of that 90-minute face-off gets to pick the style or subject of the six-hour grudge match tattoo. Whoever wins the grudge match settles this for good. Now, this 90-minute tattoo has to be finished, right? Ooh. It has to be good, right? Oh! <laughs> We gotta figure out what they're gonna do for this 90 minute tattoo. And they're so passionate, obviously, about this beef, we gotta think of something that's gonna evoke a little emotion, huh? Clearly, they can't agree on anything. Nothing. And it seems to me like there's a bunch of knives getting thrown in each other's backs. How's about a dagger? Ooh, appropriate. Take it. So we're gonna do daggers, any style. 90 minutes. 90 minutes. I'm down with that. Seems fair. You guys got no time to waste. Get the design in. Let's get the tattooing. Got this. All right. Good luck, guys. This is going to be good. 
What are you gonna throw them at? The same traditional shit? I'm sticking with what I got. You know, what are you gonna do, a black and gray tattoo with a female face in it? If I could get that done in 90 minutes, you goddamn right I would. Guys, play to our strengths. Mine happens to be good tattoos, and you know, yours is tattoos. In our second grudge, Season 11 self-proclaimed master illustrator, Tim Stafford, butted heads with the hot-headed technician, Kyle McKenzie. Mr. Versatility. You did new school the whole no, time. I didn't. I was Dude, you much... dropped the ball on new school day. Here we go. Now, they'll put their versatility to the test. Show us the versatility that you say you have at home. The second you do that, I shut my mouth. Kyle and Tim. Kyle was on my team on season 11, and Tim was on Christian's team. Team Christian always targeted Kyle because his tattoos were so bold, so solid, and so fundamentally sound yeah. that he did win right. quite a bit. Tim puts out there that he's the best illustrator and was always bagging on Kyle for doing traditional tattoos, but then Tim would always do new school tattoos, but he's a slow tattooer. Mr. Traditional skull outline. What is the challenge, Tim? Is it traditional? Is it new school? It's doing a galaxy. All I'm saying is, you you're not really showing us first, week, bro. Dude. You do dude, new school dude, every I'm week. Best composers in this house. I'm like, oh, you're you're a idiot, dude. You walk around like your shit doesn't stink. It don't. I'm done with him. It's just funny because you know Kyle can't really do what Tim does, and Tim can't really do what Kyle does, and the exactly. two are angry at each other totally. for being good at what they're bad at. Since season 11, I've opened up my own private studio. I feel like my confidence and my ambition towards the things that I want to do with my life has changed. Really, really cool to see you here and seeing all the things that I've accomplished. Dude, I'm so excited that like you've got, finally got your own shop. This has been a long time coming. Yeah, man, I'm just happy. I'm coming back to give Kyle a little bit of an ego check. He says that he's versatile, but the things that he produces doesn't show the versatility that he talks about. Kyle's in need of a slice of humble pie, and I'm here to serve it, plain and simple. Come on. Tim calls me a one-trick pony just because I put a clean, bold outline around my tattoos and he calls it traditional. If you come talking that bullshit, you gotta be ready to back it up. One, two, three. Yeah! When I'm around my kids, I'm a completely different person. How was school, Helena? Lila loves school. Going into this grudge match, I'm keeping my kids close at heart, always in the back of my mind. I gotta stay cool, calm, and collected because I'm doing this for them. Oh, there's my boy. Crazy being back here, man. Going up against this clown. Here we go. Can't wait to oh. put him in his place. He's gonna lose Where this shit. Where is that anger coming man. from? He's an angry dude. Oh, here oh. we go. Look who it is. Look who decided to show up. Mr. Versatility. He was sitting on a beach over in the Bahamas. You calling me Mr. Versatility? Yeah, because you have zero versatility. Ooh. Well, I work in a street shop, dude. I do everything that comes through the door. So what? if you do so many good things, how come you didn't bring those skills to the table I did. here? You brought trad here. That was it. You did new school the whole no, time. No, I didn't. I was dude, you much, dropped the ball. That, that's not the point. He's full of fire, I'm telling you. The fact is, I, was, I got further than you taking risk, showing way more versatility. I played the game, man. I just did what was asked of me. My shit was just way more artistically better That's cool. than yours. The challenge is and a creativity. So it's not artistry, dog. For that the shit. challenge is doing a solid tattoo. Let's, Let's go, go break see. this up and yeah. get these guys some uh, tattoos to do. I do tattoos that look like tattoos, man. New school looks like tattoos. Can't have new school without the old school, bro. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh! Quiet down, guys. Time to put them machines where the mouth is. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so come out. You guys were at it like two wild animals. I lived with these guys, so I, I saw it firsthand. I just felt like, yeah, he can do clean tattoos, but you got to bring something unique, something special. Have some artistic ability, man. I got rules in my style. You don't have rules, so you can do whatever the you want, and you're just going to call it artsy. Wow. <laughs> you wow. guys. It is what it is, man. You guys I mean, ready to get into it? Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. Right now, we're going to give you guys a 90-minute face-off tattoo, where we pick what you're going to be tattooing. The winner of that face-off tattoo gets to choose the style or the subject for your six-hour grudge match tattoo. Sounds good. Whoever wins the six-hour grudge match tattoo ends this. Are you going to be able to finish? Why don't you go ahead and finish your tattoo fast as What should we make him do? That's the that's where I'm up in the air. Well, cause say we call out a subject, 
He's going to do it traditional. He's going to do it new school. I would put the deed to the ranch on that one. That's how you play the game. How's about this? Kyle can do anything but traditional, and Tim can do anything but new school. Instead of giving them their styles, we're taking them. Define traditional, though, because there's so many subgenres: American traditional, neo-traditional. If you have to question what we're going to think about it, go the opposite way. Gotcha. We want you guys to prove to us that you can do a banging tattoo in a style that's obviously not your own. Let's do this, man. All right. Absolutely. Get to work. And step on the gas. No hitting. The fact that the judges actually gave you this challenge is the exact same reason why I brought you here in the first place. I do different shit all day, every day, man. I'm a street shop tattooer. Show us the versatility that you say you have at home. And the second you do that, I shut my mouth. All right, guys, you ready for a fight? Absolutely. You guys got 90 minutes to do dagger tattoos. Any way you want. Your time starts now. Get it. Do it. Good luck, guys. He's going to need it. Boom. Perfect, man. Get your ass up there. Let's go. You good, man? Yep. I already know that my design is going to blow ponds out of the water. My tattoo is a very thin, elegant dagger with a B on the hilt. I want to include all that soft shading that I'm known for, the very textured stippling. It's going to be a hell of a lot more impressive to be pulling those long, thin lines than just like a regular fat one. This is my chance to shine, really show what I could do. Half an hour down, guys. You've got one hour left. An hour left? I'm going to do another tattoo. Don't do that to him. He doesn't need two shitty tattoos. Just stick with the one. I hate grudges. I don't like when people don't like me. Cam likes to keep reminding me that I did traditionals all throughout our competition, so I'm picking a traditional style so I can whip his ass with it. Look at that. It's a little homage to what brought us here. So it's going to be a golden skull with a dagger going through it, because he says I, I stabbed him in the back. I just wanted to make sure like he remembered what beat him, you know? I'm picking a traditional tattoo because I'm playing it smart. Cam's ego gets in his way all the time, and if Cam's history proves itself again, he's going to shoot himself in the foot. I have so many of these long, thin lines within this tattoo. If this canvas doesn't stop moving, these lines are All right, guys, ready to duke it out? I'm ready, man. Tim, got the gloves on? Yes, sir. Your 90-minute face-off tattoo starts right now. Yeah, let's do it, man. Sweet. Check that out in the mirror there. Hey, Tim, you want to hear what a real machine sounds like? Gosh, I can't hear myself think. My tattoo is a neo-traditional skeleton hand holding an hourglass. All good? All good. Judges said I couldn't do American traditional. They didn't say I couldn't do neo-traditional. I got this. Hey, Tim, step on the gas. Step on the gas. My tattoo's just a simple illustrative tattoo. It's just like a little cluster of gems with some leaves. My style consists of a lot of like bells and whistles, and those are all the things that I'm gonna have to take out in order to pull off this 90-minute tattoo. That's probably the fastest I've ever seen you move. I'm working, man. You went home and did some studying and some tuning or what? All that. The artistic side of me is something that I've always had, but speed, saturation, all those things can come with time, and I've been working on that, and I'm a much faster tattooer now, so Kyle better bring it. I'm not even blinking, so I'm tearing. <laughs> 60 minutes left, guys. 60 minutes left. You better not be doing any uh, traditional tats over here. No, no neo trad, bro. <sighs> neo traditional is different from American traditional because you're not restricted to just four colors. You're not restricted to just one line weight. I'm using multiple line weights, different colors, and different tricks of shading and light source to show that it's not just an American traditional piece. Just like old times right now. Yeah, baby. Kyle, you're not supposed to be doing traditional. Your drawing looks traditional. I mean, there's nothing fancy or illustrative about this drawing. He needs to really step up his shading game and really make this thing have some dimension. Otherwise, if it looks flat, it's going to look traditional. Get to work, because you only got uh, 51 minutes left. Welcome, guys. What's up? Fun. We started this competition with 22 artists. Now, you are the last four standing. You have a one in four shot to win $100,000 
a feature in Inked Magazine and the title of Ink Master. That's what I'm talking about. Now. Coaches, you've led your teams through battle to wage war on each other. And now, you both have two artists in the top four. But the fight is not over. No way. Every artist from your team to make it to the finale earns you the power to sabotage your opponent in the final grudge match. I want to. This week, there is no flash challenge. <coughs> Go right to do it. You'll be judged on all of the essential skills an Ink Master must possess. Throughout the entire competition, you have competed with or against one another, learning each other's strengths and weaknesses. It's time to use that information against each other, because today, you have the power to sabotage another artist. <laughs> you will each create a six-hour line drawing. The artist you call out must tattoo your line drawing, and you must tattoo the line drawing of the artist who calls you out. <laughs> This is anybody's game right now. Tony and Tiffer need to play it smart. They need to keep each other alive right now. You have to do a killer design, and you have to do a great job on the design that is given you. You can tattoo it any style you want, but you do have to use the line drawing that is given you. We don't want you just giving them something crappy and saying, ha ha, screw you, because that will go against you in the critique. That's a fair fight. Who wants $100,000? Three of you ain't getting paid. One of you is. Which one of you is it gonna be? Bring it. To determine who gets to call out the first artist, you will draw skulls. On the bottom of one of the skulls is an X. Oh. Get the X and you will get to pick which artist you wanna design for. Oh. The artist that is picked will then get to pick the artist he wants to design for and so on. But you cannot call out the artist who called you out. Wow. This is where it gets gnarly. The picking order has been randomly assigned. TJ, you get to draw for the X first. Get the Dude! Yeah. Boom! Oh, okay, TJ, congratulations, you drew the X. Which artist are you gonna call out? Tim. Oh. Very interesting, surprising. Tim is probably the best illustrator that has graced this competition. I wouldn't want him to give me a stencil that I didn't know what to do with. It's a smart play. Tim, who do you call out? Let's go with Tony, because he challenged me and I want to challenge him back. Respectable duel. Tony, which artist do you call out? Tiffer. He's going to come up with any design better than I could to stump TJ. And Tiffer, that means you will be designing TJ's tattoo. Got it. All right, the road to the finale starts now. Get to work on your designs and we will send in your canvases. Good luck. Just do it. Come on, guys, we got this. You got some kind of plan? I'm drawing for Tim. Are you gonna hand him a lob? I don't know yet. Do you see Tim as being one of your biggest competitions? I can see Tim as being in the way. I'm not gonna hold it against you if you do what you gotta do. This is top four, so I've gotta bite my tongue, let them do what they're gonna do, and earn their own spot. Our team's only shot at taking one of them out is your design for Tony. That's what I'm looking at his work, seeing what he does well. Smart. See. We need you to draw something that he can knock out of the park. Which I'm gonna. Tiffer and Tony are playing it super smart. They're trying to keep each other alive, and I think it's gonna work out in their favor. I got you, Tiffer. Just make sure you stump TJ. That's all I ask in return. You got it. I want Tim to be in the finale, but I don't want to give him a layup. You ever see this? Ah, eight faces. Like you'll kill it. Did he just say he hates that? He might have thrown him a curveball. I'm giving Tim a woman's face, neo trad look to her, something that I would think he would approach with color that he can really show off. When you're fighting for a hundred grand, you have to look at Tim and think he could be a huge threat. Tim's probably gonna do new school, so Tony's a little nervous because he's not a new school guy. Uh, okay, I think you're gonna love it because this is exactly what I would do. <laughs> this thing is cool, man. This is why I respect you, because you're a killer artist. Have fun. It's pretty dope, but it's not easy. All right, T-Dog. Here's my question with Tony is, did he hand Tiffer a lob? <laughs> oh, I would kill it, which means I know you will definitely kill it. I'm pumped. Cool, man. I'm interested to see what Tipper does, because I think he's smart. I'm excited to see all these drawings. Well, TJ, 
You've had this new fascination lately with Neo Trad and my style, so I gave you something that I would want to do. All right. <laughs> he's probably trying to figure out how he's gonna do it in black and gray. <laughs> I gotta put up, shut up, make a good tattoo out of something. I don't even know what it is. We're gonna see real quick who's actually playing to win. All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo another artist's line drawing, and your time starts now. Sweet. All right, let's do it, guys. Today, these artists, they are going to be judged on both the design and the tattoo that they do. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. If you do a great tattoo, but you do a drawing, you just took yourself out of the win. Where would you put black in this thing? Under, hold on, underneath. Tony's being smart. He's doing a quick color study on that piece. It's a good drawing, but it's got some tricks in it. It does have some tricks in it. Leave this the shine. OK. And then I'd have darks everywhere else. OK. You know? I came here thinking that I couldn't make it. And I've just been disproving myself this whole time. I can actually do this. A regular old dude can actually prove that he can hang with the best and he could send the best home. I would make this tone darker than that tone. That makes perfect sense. I need to get on that stage. I've gone too far to turn back. Oh, yeah, I already like that much better. Five hours left, guys. Five more hours. All right, buddy, here we go. This line work is time consuming as <laughs> Tiffer totally threw me a shot with give me all these lines. Oh, you're going to do a color? Cool. I figured that would make sense, right? I think it would look a little better, personally. I'm glad Tiffer's giving me a challenge. I'm one of those people that I strive under pressure. So you're doing fairly dark hair? Very dark. I hate the fact that TJ handed me this space. Like, he knows that would probably be the last thing that I would want to do. I feel like TJ's totally trying to trip me up right now. How's Tim doing? It looks good, but I don't think his black and gray is as smooth as usual. I didn't think he was going to do it in black and gray. I intended for Tim to do this in color. This sucks. Two more hours left, guys. Two more hours. Give me all this line work on purpose? Oh, you know I did. I sacrificed a lot growing up so that I could chase this dream of racing professional motocross and supercross, and it has taught me a lot. Not to F you over. Oh, no, I got that. How to be mentally prepared for anything. You can't be afraid of somebody that's better than you at the track. Yeah, dude, you're killing it. You're doing this exactly the way I wanted it to be done. I have that mental strength that a lot of people do not have. I've been training for this my whole life, and I didn't even know it. Three, two, one. That is it. Machine's down. Time is up. Tell me you finished. No more ink. I finished. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Down to oh, the God, I'm over here having a heart attack. Dude, that thing is amazing. Sick, man. TJ, what happened, bro? What happened? He just crushed that tattoo. Oh. You no I don't know about those color choices. I You're acting like you guys already I won this. No, I'm not. It ain't over yet, clean. All right, guys, this is your last chance to save yourself from elimination by proving your versatility. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time begins now. I'm gonna turn just a little bit this way. Good deal. This is a tough challenge to do color realism in a six hour tattoo. What does this go to? That's another leaf put in the back. Gotcha. This face-off is apples to apples. Three artists from Team Christian going head to head, fighting each other for survival. If I was you, I would outline the individual petal. So I was gonna honestly go in and outline, especially like these ones here, the ones that are overlapping. And just make sure you can tell the difference in between some of the petals or whatever, so. Yeah. My goal is to help out my teammates, and my true teammates are Amanda and Tim. They need my help, I'm there for them all day. Let's get the bottom real quick. Hey, make sure, if you can, extend that bottom out. Make it longer? Yeah, because you want to have it look like it's together, like that. We planned it out to where Chris needed to go home next. It's going to happen. You have four hours left, everybody. Four hours to go. I'll tell you what, if you get this main flower done and looking this good, the other two are a lot easier. Yeah. I was never like classically trained. I never took art classes or went to school for art. I just always had a basic knowledge of it and a love for it. I would put 
not black, but that plum. close to a black line underneath to pop those leaves. Make sure your contrast is really good. The fact that there's only been one female Ink Master is more of a motivation for me. It's a tough competition, but I'm here to compete, and if I can make it to the end with the big dogs, I'm definitely going to prove that I'm the one that deserves that title. Get that little piece of that orange one that, that sits between there, and you get hmm. right there. TJ, why don't you just get in there and do the tattoo for her? Jesus. Hey, that's what teamwork is for, baby. Man, oh man. I didn't see you over there helping Chris like that. TJ's helping out Amanda and Tim, so I guess I'm just getting pushed to the side again. How's everybody doing? Everybody's doing pretty good. It's good to hear. They're gonna stab me in the back. I know it, they know it, 100%. And two hours remain, everybody. Two hours remain. Stop out. Why? I, I need just five minutes. Ugh. Hang on, give me just one second. Let me finish this couple of spots. And I'm gonna need you to hurry back because I can't go home. I just need a five minute break. <laughs> Come back in four. It sucks because I'm in the heat of the moment, working as diligently as possible, and my canvas, she keeps asking for breaks, and like right now, I have zero time for breaks. How the hell am I supposed to finish this tattoo? I'll tell you what, here would be my advice is, especially if she's having a rough time at all, I would map your darks in mm -hmm. on the greens and stuff, mm -hmm. and that way you can blast through and make sure you're finished. Oh my gosh. Thank you, you feel so better much. now? I'll survive. Final hour, one hour left. I'm leaving it, I'm done. You got one hour. You know what, F it. I'm finished with this tattoo. I did what I needed to do, I got in and out, and I'd rather be finished early than F it all up and finish late. Check it out. Wow, it's like a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up, no more ink. All righty, girl, we are all done. I'm serious as you need to do this more often and stop doing new school. I ain't gonna stop doing new school. I mean, I'm just saying. Bouquets, bro. Three of them. Well, that one's just like a bunch of flowers. Doesn't really come across as a bouquet. That's the problem. Exactly. Because when all three people do a solid ass tattoo, you do not want to have to debate it. Exactly. Okay, artists, so you have six hours to face off in a head to head grudge match, and your time starts now. All right. All right, brother, come around real quick. Killer. Yeah? It doesn't get much better now. For this next round, there's six artists left. There's three face-offs. Win the face-off, you're safe from elimination. Lose the face-off, you might be going home. Race is on. Team Clean had the power in this challenge, and they really made the most of it. The people at the butt end of this challenge really have to step up to the versatility of the other artists. I didn't think I did traditional. Well, there you go. My friend showed me how to do this kind of I just don't like doing it because it's so tedious. I like being simple. It is tedious. Chris is going for it. Make sure you're super on point because I think he's full. I know. All that full was exactly that. I'm just full. I don't know why. He did that, but that passes me on. Chris is one of the biggest threats in this competition. He can do anything. You want to push yourself out of the team, do this lone wolf A lone wolf doesn't last long in the wild. Eventually, somebody's going to get your ass. How you doing? Trying. I heard it looks good. Just trying to not look like a complete asshole. Nah, I think you know how to handle your business. I a little bit of a confession to make. Maybe I got a little overly dramatic with doing the snake. Can I do photorealism? No, I can't. But I can sort of do color realism. I might have left that part out with my team. Yeah, it's teams, but I still have to go against everybody on my team. I can't trust them. Two weeks before I got here, I got kicked out of the shop by Ben at for eight years. 
I lost everything. Now I have to try to rebuild everything that I used to have. So I can't lose. Four more hours, guys. Four more hours. Thinking that in there. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful, dude. Yeah, show him what's up, dude. I don't do American traditional. The only way that I can beat Tony at his own game is to be cleaner than him, be more saturated than him, and have a cleaner design. I knew you were going to bring it, man. I respect that a lot. That's what I wanted. I didn't want a landslide. I wanted someone who's going to make me work for it, even at my own game. I chose Tim because he's a great tattooer. Tim's is pretty simple, but it's definitely smooth and solid, so it doesn't give him any reason to say nothing, you know? Yeah. I want to be the one that takes Tim out. I don't care how good you can draw. I'll look you in the eye, and I'll say I'm a better tattooer than you. I feel like right now, Tony's crossing the country in an airplane, and Tim's in a hot air balloon. Slow and steady wins the race, bud. One hour. One hour left. It seems like it's a pretty close race, and him is actually doing a pretty good tattoo. Well, just make sure you're bullet this, dude. Yeah. No questions. I love watching head-to-heads. Yeah. This might be the most tense day I've ever had. This isn't going to be the runaway train that Tiffer thought it was. I'm excited for this chance to really show off. I'm not afraid to fight. So you're trying to a lot about heel. Just make sure everything you're doing is technically fine. Beautiful. I think you actually have a shot. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. Grudge match complete. I think that thing looks dope, dude. Bite you. Yeah, it will. <laughs> I dig it. Came out awesome. I would take that all day over that. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm super proud of it. Are you blowing off your hands because they're smoking from doing such a badass tattoo? Dude, he's so cool. You did good, dude. Oh, we'll see. Team Clean steps up to the plate. Three swings, three strikes. You're out. <laughs> All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a reflection, and your time starts now. Good call, guys. Good. Let's do it. Turn your body a little bit more this way. Perfect. In this elimination tattoo, still testing detail in reflection tattoos. Basically, it's two images that we're looking for, whatever the image is and then whatever's being reflected. And that's a good size, but still getting all the detail. Does that work for you? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. If you don't show the reflection, you could go home even though you do a nice tattoo. Start down here and move our way up. You good right there? Yeah, I'm good. Get comfy. I'm ready. You better bust out some detail, because, uh, ah, now nah, you're all right. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. Because for the amount of detail that Chris put in his tattoo, you can pretty much quit now. Chris is doing an astronaut helmet, very similar to mine. The thing about Chris is he is skating middle of the road, but he's doing consistent tattoos. He's the only other person in this competition that hasn't been to the bottom other than myself. I want to make sure that this tattoo puts him in his place. As long as you do your bulletproof, we're safe, man. It's just clean. Thank you. I've been doing simple, to the point tattoos. That's what keeps me safe. Interested to see what Tiffer does with his. I thought he was going to go a little crazy around the design. He might be still a little shooken up from the last patch that we did. Hey, right. who knows? It's a light room, man. From here on out, win or you're screwed. You think he went too simple on detail day? He's got just as much detail as Tiffer does. I don't think that's true at all. Four hours remaining. Four hours remaining. We're cruising, man. It's looking real nice. I'm super happy with this. I usually play it safe, but at this point, you gotta swing. I'm gonna make the goggles a little bit more ominous. Okay. Cool. My father came over here from Mexico, and my dad is one of the hardest working people I've ever met in my entire life. With his hard work that he's instilled with me, I'm here to do one job and one job only, and that's win and take the title home to Reno. Tony, you doing good? Yeah. I'm gonna swing today. I'm doing fine, dude. Yeah, it looks great. 
Detail, detail, detail. I'm not that confident executing a lion face with ripples on top of it, with blue around it. Do you like these for cat colors, because it's more natural? I'm cool with that. OK, cool. Yeah. This isn't easy, attacking these time limits that are super, super difficult, and getting out of my own head, having confidence, knowing that I can do what it takes to be here and win. I am my own worst enemy right now in this competition. Tim's making stupid color choices. Just the color combo, I was like, what the hell are you doing? I'm not going to sit here and choose colors for somebody. I'm not doing that. Two hours remain, guys. Two hours remain. You got to be worried about your boy, Kirk. I'm, I am. There's too much details. I tell him all the time. It's hard to deal with not being around my kids. Yeah. Small sacrifice, big reward. Yeah, I mean, I'm doing it for them. So. Exactly. All throughout this entire competition, I've been getting dinged for all the little details that I put into my tattoos. But this is a detail challenge today, which means that I literally just get to do all the damn details that I like to do. You know, I'll line that one they said in red. Yeah. Maybe don't line it. Maybe just shade it. I was just thinking maybe these would look better negative, completely negative, since all this will be kind of dark. If I do that, then I'm definitely going to want to double up that outside line. This better be readable, Turk, and solid. It's going to be both. I get it. This is the detail challenge. But if he goes overboard and turns this thing into a mess, he is going home. Christian's already thinking you're going to get too busy on it. He always does that crazy bastard. I think I should do the opaque grays in there. In? The monster head. You think so? I feel like it looks unfinished. I don't do demon faces. I don't like reflection tattoos. It's just not something that I want to do. I think your time is better spent making it clearly a reflection. See where it's on the ears? That looks good. Yeah. Because that shows that interaction between the globe and him. But then up here, that stops. It looks almost like it's a circle around the head. It's too late to change it. It's a tough one because this one's like kind of the hardest one to really show a lot of detail. I could go home on this tattoo. Oh. We're getting there. My canvas is moving and is in pain. I feel like my leg's gonna fall off. We got this. I got most of all the little detail stuff and the bulk of the color done. My life depends on finishing this tattoo. Oh. We're almost done. If she keeps moving, it's not going to be clean, which is almost as bad as not finishing. All I can hope for is that somebody else the bed. How stiff is it looking? Is it detailed? It's not like crazy detailed. Do you have more opportunities for detail? My biggest threat in this competition is Tiffer, but further along we're getting this competition, it looks like Tiffer's starting to lose juice. I don't know if it's just competition's getting to him or these tattoos are just getting a little more difficult. Either way, baby, don't leave your throat open, because I'm coming for it. If you take it back to back, that's going to be just a kick right in the teeth. It'll be worth it, I'm I can tell you. you. <laughs> Drop channel on this. Two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. <laughs> yeah. Literally down to the last second. You finished, huh? Yes, sir. I'm done poking holes in your leg. They were giving you about readability the whole time. And I know. Crystal clear, man. Dude. That's so cool. You guys doing the victory push-ups? Hey, at least we can do a push-up. Yeah. I want to see Tipper push his ass up out of the bottom. Ah. What a douchebag. Geriatric asshole. Okay, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a Japanese temple, and your time starts now. Let's do this. Get going. Well, it looks really cool from back here, TJ. Cool. Do you think I should do it there? I'd put it on the ribs. My only concern is just sitting still. I'm not going to get canvas <laughs> in the sleeves. Leaving is one thing, but sitting and squirming for six hours is even worse. Today, these artists are going to be tattooing Japanese temples. I mean, I could just continue this as part of the end of this statue. No, that's perfect. These artists are going to have to really work on composition, constructing the temple in a way where you'd have a foreground, some background. That, coupled with temples, anything can happen. All right, bud, here we go.
think you should have like something coming down this way more. Okay. Because like, see how it just looks like it's going in the yep. roof. So if it came down, are you gonna do that? I don't know. Oh. I've been on the top this whole competition, and that's a lot of pressure. Damn it. To maintain the top spot is extremely difficult, and it is stressing me the f out. Japanese temple, baby. I would normally approach this with a heavy background and pulling the contrast out, but the judges want just a hard outline around everything to where it looks like a sticker. I actually really like that you're putting a line on the outside of it. I think it's going to pop everything forward. Yeah, the total opposite of what I've trained myself to do. But for a one-shot piece like this, dude, yeah. like, it's going to look dope. Yeah, I, 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 I agree 100%. I realized I should just do exactly what they're asking for, and I can still do me inside the outline. And now that I know what I need to do, this is full speed right here. Ain't no horn on this ride. You getting ran the over. Five hours remaining. You have five more hours. I did. Here I go. Go for it. I don't know the first thing about Japanese temples. Do you want me to leave you earlier or one little advice? All the advice in the world would be great. Your rocks and the trunk of your tree go heavy with your blacks, because you really want them to pop. I can do that. My mom, she worked as a medic. And seeing her work beside these strong, independent, beautiful women dealing with some of the worst things anybody's ever seen made me realize what a strong woman is. I knew that I wanted to be among those elite women in my life. I'm the last girl standing, and I belong here. Beauty. Should I just go with super light gray for, for this area? You could definitely pull a little black shadow, just a little bit. I'm worried about composition. This canvas, he wants me to do a super loose tattoo with a lot of background. He literally wants me to do everything that I'm going to get dinged for. I could probably do it on all of them, can I? Yeah. It'll make it look more realistic. I didn't step away from my family just so this dude can throw me a curveball and me not swing for it. Two more hours. That is two more hours. You doing all right? Mm. Team Christian, they didn't just send me a grenade. They dropped a <laughs> nuke on me. Every week, they're gunning for me. As soon as I pop my head up from the water to catch a breath, they push my head back down. It's just exhausting having to fight every single day. What's going on with this front over here? It just kind of like has a scratchy line. It just looks unfinished. I hate everything about this tattoo. This thing's crooked as hell. I'm doing what I can to save it, but you know, this thing's Tell me you're doing cherry blossoms. I'm not gonna be there. This is my first time ever doing a Japanese temple. They're very intricate between the railings that are on each floor. Each floor has to look the same. The tapering of the roof, all of that is super difficult. God, that's a lot of straight parallel lines, bro. My biggest obstacle for me is time. I am a slow tattooer, and I'll admit that. You doing the cherry blossoms like single color? Yeah. I would, just because you're under an hour. Tim is one of the strongest artists in the house. Unfortunately, he's so slow, he can't show that off today. It has no composition. The overall tattooing is good, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to save him. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. Thank you for sitting so damn well. You are a beast. More than I expected, like beyond amaze balls. Wow. I love it. That's incredible. Mine was stressful. The ribs is definitely tough, man. The skin is so thin, dude. There's always gonna be like little hiccups here and there. They might hit you on a couple of spots. Hey Kyle, what do you think about having ribs for dinner? Like them well done? <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> All right, guys, for this face-off, you must draw your tattoo directly onto your canvas's skin freehand. No. Without using a stencil, you must push your abilities to the limit and skillfully finesse your design so that it flawlessly fits the flow of your canvas's body. Freehanding is the most unforgiving type of tattooing that you could possibly do. I'm a perfectionist. I like to make sure that my looks perfect before I put it on the skin. The subject 
and style of your tattoo is completely up to you. I'm Everything I love to do is realistic, and it's really hard to freehand realism. Here's your chance. You get to show us what you can do directly on skin. Push yourselves to the limit. Make it legible. Make it clean. It's your job to be able to do it. If not, you shouldn't be here. Your canvases have been randomly assigned and are completely open. Based on your work, one of you will lose your shot at $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. And this time, you have five hours, and your time starts now. Come on, guys, let's get it together. Let's go! Let's get it, man. I want to do a really cool tomahawk going through the ropes. Yeah. Today, these artists have to freehand. This will be where they pull their mental stencil and show us what they got. I thought it'd be cool to do a lucky crab claw, kind of like a lucky rabbit's foot. We're asking them to draw from their head and make it come to life. I'm doing a traditional yeah. rose and a crying heart. Depending on how time's looking, I might even do a realistic eye inside the crying heart. With color? Uh, yes. Yeah? Nice. This is totally outside my wheelhouse, but it's definitely something I know I can draw off the top of my head. You've got to splay them leaves a little bit. Otherwise, they're just two of them pointing the Are these in. spread enough, or do you think? No. No. I'd do one this way, one this way. I okay. never want them going the exact same direction. If I'm gonna do such a simple design, that means I need to execute it flawlessly. Looks crazy. I'm playing it smart. I'm just gonna do a clean, simple, readable tattoo. <laughs> this mother I'm not going overboard. I'm not doing anything stupid. That's pretty good. Thanks, man. You feel good? Yep. Keep showing, dude. I'm trying to be a part of this team. Do I really like it? Not really. I do fine by myself. Chris started tattooing before I could even look at an artwork. We didn't even have nobody like double check or nothing. It's wild. Yeah. And it might shoot his but It could very well. What is Jess doing? He wants to do a big traditional piece. Yeah. I don't get it. That's like me getting to do whatever I want. And I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to do some black and gray today. This is survival of the fittest time. And if people want to make crazy decisions, what do you want me to do? Dude, super cool. You better make him bulletproof. Jess is doing a traditional ass rose right now. Not even I'm going traditional right now, and that's what I like to do. I need to walk that fine line. I need to do what I like to do, but I also need to stay safe. The blood on the front looks really fat. I'll just save it for last. Yeah. I'm keeping it easy. I'm keeping it simple. I'm just making sure the tattoo looks like a sticker. I do freehand tattoos all the time back home. Watch out for the eagle. And one of my favorite things to do is American bald eagles. To make sure it's not too black, you know? I didn't match Chris in the last challenge, but I showed them that I'm not a one-trick pony, that I can do black and gray, but my heart is in tradition. They make sure every line is perfect on this. I got this clean. I'm going to kill this tattoo. I bang this out back home in two hours. Four hours left, guys. Four more hours. Freehand, it's 100% like my favorite way to even approach tattoos. I do like your skulls. I think they're cool. Thanks, man. If I'm going to get to do whatever I want, well, I'm going to do something that makes me happy as hell. Cute dead stuff. <laughs> I know the guys on Team Christian side, they're all just crapping their pants right now. Team Clean can definitely outdraw Team Christian any day of the week. Instead of me doing what everybody expects, I'm going with something that has color to it to show that if you throw me anything color, I'm going to smash that too. You think I should do that like yellow? Yeah, just be careful when you go in there to make sure you punch it up. Yeah. I'm really grateful actually that I did the piece that Clean gave me because I think it set me up for success in this tattoo. I think it was a smart move. He did two dope color pieces in a row. Then he don't have that like, oh, and you're just a black and gray guy. This right here is the race. I'm killing it. Two hours left on the clock. Yeah. We're done. <laughs> yeah, it looks sweet. I finished a little early, but my tattoo's clean as 
And the main point of today was to survive, and I'm damn sure I'm not going home. Talk to me. We need you here. I just take the heart sometimes. Like, if I know how I am, like, I just got to mm. ride it out. I'll be good. I don't want to make sure you and I are communicating well because you're one of my strongest tattooers. I'm not. I'm good, man. Seriously. OK. okay. This I need you on board. I got you. This might be a good time for people to play it safe, but I'm looking for those artists who are pushing forward and want to get recognized. Those are the ones who are here to really win. I like the whites. They look nice. Delivered enough? I think so. I'm going to take a little bit of a risk with this design. It's not going to be blatantly obvious what it is at first glance. It's a piece of art and Amanda Boone signature tattoo. I like that you never play safe or stay good enough. You go balls out the whole time. Good job. Those judges want to say, like, I can't saturate. Like, you're going to figure it out today. Y'all are going to learn today. I really want to go wall to wall on this thing. I don't hate wall to wall, but I don't either. Do you? OK. They want that sticker. They're about to get some sticker. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Five hours went by quick. Yeah, five quick. I mean, for me at least, probably not so much for you. Pretty stoked, man. Yeah, you did a killer job, dude. So you got in bed today, huh? Our whole team in bed because you say so. I'm pretty confident. But that don't mean your whole team was bulletproof. Get the off that high horse. Welcome. What's going on, boy? Once again, the teams are even. However, only one of you will earn $100,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Yes. Today, you must once again step aside and put your trust in the hands of your coach. You got this, man. I didn't just come here to coach a team. I came here to kick Clean's ass. And if that's what I get to do today, I'm stoked. This week, we're testing artistry. All right. Artistry is creating something from scratch out of your head. I love thinking of things that nobody has ever seen or even thought of before. That, to me, is true artistry. As two of the competition's most versatile artists, your coaches know that to make it to the end, you must be able to draw. For this grudge match, coaches, you must each design a three-hour tattoo cool. using no reference. Of course. <laughs> This one's a piece of cake, because I never use reference. I will bet money right now. Hmm, Christian, are you creative? Hmm, are you going to do a face? But that's not all. Of course, of course it's not. What? A versatile artist can take any design and make it their own. So today, you must also tattoo the other coach's design, creating two head-to-head -head face offs. What does that even mean? <laughs> we got to draw for each other, bro. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Two head-to-head -head battles. You both have to tattoo your own design and somebody else's. For the design you get handed to you, you can't change the stencil. But what goes on the skin, you can do whatever you can to outshine in that tattoo. Show your teammates that you guys are versatile, that you can draw for any occasion and for any situation. Let's see what you guys got. Your canvases have been randomly assigned, and the style and subject are completely up to you. Right. The winner of each head-to-head face-off will get to select one artist from their team that will be safe from elimination. All right. I really hope that Clean can save me this week because my confidence is shaken from being on the bottom. Come on, Clean, help your boy out. As the grudge deepens, you must be even more strategic to keep the strongest team behind you. Every artist from your team that makes it to the finale earns you the power to sabotage your opponent in the final grudge match. Start designing, and we'll send in your canvases. Good luck. All right, let's do this. All right. I want to kind of do a monster with lots of textures. Today we're testing artistry and tattooing somebody else's line drawing can be difficult for another artist if they don't understand how to approach the piece. I'm trying to think smart here. I figure he's probably going to do a girl face. You got to do like an abstract girl face. Both of these coaches are gamesmen, and they're definitely looking to trip the other up. I could give him to her bald, right? Give him next to nothing. I know Clean's kryptonite, and it is human faces, especially women. He seems to love them, but he can't tattoo them. Hey, Hi. how are I'm you? I'm human canvas. Hi, how are you? I'm well, how are you? So you like demons? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Hi, I'm human canvas. Good. 
I'm gonna give Christian a drawing that looks so crazy that when you look at it, you can't even tell what it is. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Oh my God, dude. What the f is this? Piece of cake. I love it. Honestly, was I surprised that it was a girl's face? No. I'm not putting a dick and balls on my girl. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no dick and balls. There's no dick and balls. It's a candle. Yeah, no, that's not a candle. Oh, did you want me to map it out, like, perfectly for you? Just watch what I do with this I want to see. All right, coaches, you have three hours to tattoo Christian's design, and your time starts now. I'm going to turn her into a cholo girl. Paisley bandana. Have her hair real big. Do it, dude. Christian's trying to stump me up right now with a girl face. Hell, all I got to do is look up, and the girl's right in front of me. Right there. Perfect. Don't move. I'm going to show artistry to the judges by doing a funky, creepy, cyborg space chick. I'm a little bit nervous on this tattoo because I left a lot of line work out. It's a huge risk because if I screw up, I'm going to myself on my own drawing. The features are off on his. She has like a real face on those. You said real? Yeah, it's like long. Her cheekbones come up too low, below her nose. One hour left, guys. One hour left. Doesn't look much like a duck yet, but I'm sure it will. Our strategy to help clean on this one is getting under Christian's skin. Trick mallet, you know, specific duck. Very specific. Ah, get to just so duck, dude. It's a duck, I'm just saying. Starting to annoy me. He's so pissed. That's what I'm talking about. Got that can riled up. Five, four, three, two. One, that's it, machine's down, time is up. Get ready for the next tattoo. Oh my god, look at that. Badass, dude. We showed some artistry on this son of a bitch. Oh yeah. Now to make the other one look like that. Yeah. <laughs> Coaches, you have three hours to tattoo Clean's design. And your time starts now. Feet together. This is actually going to be a challenge, but I got it. Clean thinks I'm some chump, but I don't care what line work he gives me. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to turn it into something badass. And we'll turn this into a handsome devil. You OK with that? I promise you, it's not going to look a thing like this. Yeah. If that's not artistry, I don't know what is. Idiotic bull It's clearly a candle. You're clearly a dick. I you were a little more thick-skinned than that there, Christian. Do I sit and with you every goddamn time you tattoo, dude? Here we go. You get the out of here and let me take care of my goddamn clown. Not in your way. Quit bugging the on me. All I'm doing is talking. Now swipe. Easy, easy, easy. Come on. You. Come That's on. nicely several times today. You're clearly irritating the out of me. Talking about the candle. Just off, dude. I'm gonna let the little baby simmer down a little bit. Stay focused on the tattoo. That's all that matters. Well, guys, Turk just got star team player today. Coaches, you have one hour left. I'm busting out every trick in my bag for this tattoo. I'm making sure that there's tons of details that weren't even close to my line drawing. I'm really anxious to see what Christian puts out of this. You already cut the numbers in half. This eye yeah. is a bit higher. My eyes, they fit perfectly for what I'm doing. So if he tries to change this at all, he's screwed. HD this mother oh. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. You did good. Thank you. Did real good, girl. Handsome devil? Hell yeah. You did awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for trusting me. I knew you couldn't keep up with my stuff, so you had to create your own. I didn't want to. Yeah. I would have loved to see him try that. Love to. Mm -hmm.